Welcome to free agent calmness. Oh Welcome to free agent calmness. It is the exact opposite of a frenzy because the frenzies already happen. There have been a wonderful amount of signings, trades, <laughs> moves, whatever. And that's why we're here at 4 o'clock. It's better than ever. I don't know what Luca's laughing at, but I'm trust watching, me. I'm watching the stream on delay, and the beginning is just Corwin going. <laughs> <laughs> Slamming wow, on the what table. Wow, what a hyped up. It's a frenzy. It's a frenzy. <laughs> well, you know, guys, pace yourselves. We're going to be here for two hours. We're here from four to six. We're going to be breaking down what's already happened, what might happen tomorrow, maybe even what happens during this live stream. Da-da-da-da. You never know. You never know, but you know we should introduce ourselves. Who we got here? Why don't we start all the way at the end over here with the guy who just couldn't control his laughter? Say a to fun begin fact about yourself and your birth sign. <laughs> what a, rising moon are you? <laughs> I'm a Gemini, and my name is Luca, and I'm an Avalanche fan. Some of that was useful information. <laughs> all of it was useful. <laughs> Hi, I'm Corwin. I'm a Sagittarius. I was born at 1:30 p.m. How do you and, know? Uh, God. Anyone? Corwin know is that? the best because he has sisters. <laughs> 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 One sister. Shout out Sam. Oh, uh, and then. Uh, I don't know what else I was talking about, but I'm really excited to talk about free agency. I'm actually kind of just getting caught up on everything because I was a bit in a in a blender today, and now Love I'm it. like finding out all the news, and this is a real live reaction. Also, I have to post this Insta story to promote this, so do per- it. I'm gonna dial in for a second. All right. Well, who else we got? I'm Julia. I'm an <laughs> Aries and a Leo moon. Um, wow. And I'm really happy to be here. Well, <laughs> we're happy to have you here. Uh, Virgo, going to get that out of the way quick. And uh, neutral fan, sometimes Sabres, DZ here. I've never you. heard you say that. Which one? Massive Sabres. Oh. Huge Sabres. And, I've you know, never heard you say that in my life. No, di- is, uh, what's uh, Jacoby from Jalen and Jacoby say? He's a Die Easy fan. I'm a Die Easy <laughs> Sabres fan. Uh, so... We've already had some moves happen. Obviously, Malkin, he's returning. Giroux, that's amazing. Ottawa, you had yourself a day and a week so oh, far. Yeah. Who do Campbell, they think they are? <laughs> sign. But we also got some big stuff still out there. Kadri, Goudreau, Klingberg, Strom. So why don't we start off with an all easy... The Stroms. All, the, all, all the Stroms. All the Stroms. Why don't Wait. we start off with an easy question? But you you look like you got something to say here, Ponytail. Well, everyone in the comments obviously asking where Jesse is. So let's just get that out of the way. He's on a camping trip. He he didn't plan it around free agency because it's a different time this year as opposed to it being July 1st. So um, I don't know if he's seen that his team has signed David Riddick, but... Hey, he hey. has seen it. I've seen him okay. already post an image with David Riddick. <laughs> oh he's like, he's like, guys, guys, guys. We need this. Guys, the internet needs to see this. Martin. Yeah. Martin. <laughs> uh, I, and he, yeah, he was like, I'm, I'm unavailable. I got to go camping. And he's literally, he's been live tweeting everything. I've seen, like, he, there's no way he's it's not off any the grid. form of wilderness. Uh, that was the thing, right? He wasn't going to have service, and he was going to come back and see everyone on different teams. Ultimately, we've determined that that was a lie. You know, he <laughs> remains committed to one team, the Jets. <laughs> so, uh, but here, when we, when we start off with a nice softball question for you guys to start this off, because you know what? I, th- I think you guys aren't going to say the Leafs for this first one. This is why I'm going to talk about it. Wow. I'm nervous. Who is the fan base that should be the happiest so far after Ooh. today. Oh. The happiest. And you know what? This is for anyone who wants to jump in on that. Whoa, look at the graphics. Wow. wow. Like, wow. That looks good. Shout out to our boy, Tricky Ricky Kirk. That's Eric Tri- Kirk for, for those of you that don't know his excellent nickname. Guy absolutely hit me with a, we're not going to be able to do that today, brother. And then like 10 minutes later, he's like, I think I can do that. <laughs> that is it looks so like he did it. Peak, Eric. He did looks a great like, job. Yeah, great job. It's like sure jersey swaps well. in the thing. Oh, yeah. That's really impressive. I feel like they have one of like my answer on there. How could you not be stoked if you're a Senators fan today? Yeah. Right? Like yeah. Uh, from Giroux and it felt like Giroux was going to happen to like everything else that's happened. Like did the Sens make the playoffs this year? Can they surpass Boston who's all in? Right? And stuff? That's what mm-hmm. I mean. That might be coming up a little later as a question, guys. Oh, so okay, don't worry sorry. about that. Wow. No, no, don't worry. No need to apologize. <laughs> and wait, you hyped also, up. <laughs> whoa, wow. I look like Connor McDavid in NHL 21. That's a weird thing to say. That's but also, real specific. People are really, I feel like the two we're really getting from the comments in this are Wings and Sens. Are the, yeah, the, the Wings yeah. made a lot of moves. A lot of maybe moves. Maybe they still might make some, but is that who you guys are picking? You guys picking Wings and Sens? I'm going to, I'm because obviously Sens have been incredible. Yeah. And, uh, I'm, I'm they didn't take the bait. Weirdly enough, I'm kind of into the Sens. But, um, oh, he wanted me to say Yeah, he didn't take the bait. Both of them oh, Red Wings. Yeah. Uh, we're, not, we're, we're not Red Wings fans because we didn't say them. Yeah. It's but gonna be, yeah. I'm going to go like with a prediction style, and I'm going to say 
the New Jersey Devils because they're going to land Johnny Ooh. Gaudreau. Wow. And, they're, and then they're just going to be an absolute elite squad. Short and King then, Summer, baby. So, oh, the top line of Brat, <laughs> Hughes, and, uh, and, and Gaudreau is, yeah, absolutely. The Short King line. And, I mean, I think – that you just got to be absolutely buzzing if you're a New Jersey fan. Potentially I, buzzing still. It seems likely, but potentially buzzing. Yeah, yeah I mean, like, I'll lock it in, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, there you yeah, go. Yeah. You'll lock it in. <laughs> what, about, what about the Penguins? They should, and I'm only saying yeah. it just because, like, it could have been misery with Latang or Malkin gone, and then they got both back. Their Raquel contract's weird, but, like, <laughs> hey, whatever. They got Latang and Malkin back together, so just go on another long playoff run. Ricard Raquel's the next Chris Kunitz, so you, you watch your tone, pal. <laughs> Potentially. Um, I'd be happy if I have a Penguins fan. All right, well, with that sorted out, then, which fan base should have a bit of a sad nap? After Calgary today. Flames. Like, I felt my heart dropped into my stomach for the Calgary Flames last yeah, night. It was tough. <laughs> I mean, they didn't even end up getting him, but I actually sent a tweet through our group chat earlier and I said, I would be so rattled if I was a Flames fan because they were like, Flames have lost Johnny Gaudreau. They're going to be targeting Max Domi. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Like, yeah. Oh, Jail. Yeah. <laughs> and it does suck because Wrong. you like, lose him for like Gaudreau for nothing. Absolutely nothing. And, yeah. you know, what was like, you know, that lasting cup run, you know, you, you get beaten by your biggest rival yeah. in the second round. So you don't it, even really get anything out of that. Doesn't you, it put into perspective like how short windows are? Like Calgary was so sick this year. Everyone was like, cup window for the Calgary Flames. And now it feels like I mean, it's like but haven't they had their cup window for like a while? They underachieved. Yeah. They've underachieved. They, they yeah. underachieved and then they kind of sprang back up last year and you know, with obviously Sutter's help. So, yeah. but no, I agree with you still. Yeah. It should like the window was still small enough. Yeah. Know, only a, it's a few years. They actually have a goalie. So few people have that. Like yeah. what a special treat to have a number one starting goalie. I mean, they didn't really have a goalie against Edmonton. That's the thing though, right? <laughs> Which was like the weirdest thing, because in that series, that was like supposed to be the lock for them. They're like, oh, well, yeah, yeah. you got goaltending in this, but yeah, that's why all goalies are the same, and you should never pay any of them, and you should trade for like yeah. the guy that's mainly played in the age. We're gonna segue <laughs> into the goalie situation for you two here, because that is a pretty big discussion from today. The Leafs, they obviously had to settle the crease because Campbell, he's going to the Oilers, five years. Was it five? Uh, five a year. Five, five by five. Every five. Every goalie gets five, five, five by five now. You're a goalie. You're a goalie. Five way by go, five. Five <laughs> by five. Good for you. Good, good way to land that. But that means that the Leafs, they had to go out and make some moves of their own. So it's going to be Murray and uh, Sam Sinov. So um, you guys happy with that or nah? You go first, Corwin. Yeah, I'm fine with it. I mean, like, I, I feel like everybody's been so negative. Like, that, like yeah. Sam Sinov, first of all, was like, I don't know. I, I like it because it's a high upside thing where like potentially he actually is really good and then that would be amazing but i I don't know there's i have two ways to think about it because the other part i was actually i was talking to brian hayes about this and the yeah the he was someone who's like choked <laughs> right yeah, now yeah he was rattled <laughs> and then the but i was saying like it kind of sucks because i think sam Sonov could be good and, but the problem is if he is really good and like takes the starting position then that matt murray contract looks terrible right but but overall, I think it's like a decent bet to make, and and especially when you consider the term that they like that Edmonton committed to Campbell, and like I don't know, like you, you guys already covered it. People are going crazy for goalies. It's five by five, five by six, whatever they'll do, and then uh, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of into it. It's a like low risk ish. Like you, the sure. Leafs had subpar. Jack Campbell had a great start to the season all-star go off king congratulations and then was absolutely terrible and so was mrazic for a long stretch of time like the leafs won a lot of games with subpar goaltending yeah, and honestly totally fine yeah and honest to god luca the kemper thing like kemper was so bad for parts of the playoffs and the abs were still able to win a stanley cup so that makes me feel a little bit better about yeah, the leaf situation yeah yeah i, I mean yeah it, it definitely feels like if you're ranking yourself against the Avs, though, like everything else was so so right. But yeah. I want to, I want you guys to have some uh, some copium, as they as they say. But are you not a little bit concerned that like both yeah, bro. goalies like, are, are yeah. reclamation projects, where usually like one of them is a gamble, but it really is both of them. There isn't a single goalie they could have signed that I wouldn't have been concerned about. Like, even the guys, yeah. like, even the flurries of the world, I would have been a little bit uncomfortable with because of the cap hit, and there's still some uncertainty to, uncertainty there. Like, yeah. people were dying for Darcy Kemper, and I just said how bad he was for parts <laughs> of the playoffs. 
I don't know. I, I, I'm okay with the direction mm. they went, I think. I mean, I hope there's not much else they could have done. Like, I, I like not backing yourselves into the corner of Campbell or Kemper for the next five years. Yeah. Like that, those, those moves in, in, I mean, they could pay off in the next two years and those are very short term, short sighted moves. But if you're a Leafs franchise, that's just like, we don't know where we're going to be in the next two years. Like we're going to just commit five and a half to Darcy Kemper at 32 years old. Like I understand not doing that. I I'd rather try the reclamation project route. You've You're got... happy your team didn't do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm totally happy. My team did it. We got a 26 year old goaltender that has much like a, a much higher ceiling. I would say if he realizes his potential and you know what? If he doesn't get there, he doesn't get there. We proved that we were good enough to win with basically 900 safe percentage goaltending throughout the playoffs. So like we can do that again. Yeah, that's the thing about Sam Snob. Like, 25th overall, you know there's yeah. an upside there. Like, please. <laughs> it has it has to work. Please have that upside and show it. Okay, well, here, you were discussing this a little bit earlier, so now I'm just going to jump right into it. Who's one team that has transformed themselves already into a playoff team that was not last year? And who's a team from, yeah, the opposite here? They have went from being a playoff team to, yeah, they're probably going to miss it potentially next year if they don't make any moves from this point. Well, one of each. Who, who are the playoff teams? Well, yeah. uh, the Atlantic Division has like just been locked up in like November, the past couple of yeah. seasons, and I hate predicting a Boston fall off because it just like Never we've been happens. predicting a Boston fall off for like what four years now, and it mm-hmm. just continues. If you're gonna do it though, you might as well go for it now. To the not interview. happen, yeah. yeah, that's the thing, right? And the the Krejci thing coming back is cool, but also I, I don't know how much Krejci is really gonna gonna do for the Boston Bruins. So maybe this will be the actual year that that something happens, Massive and viral. somebody <laughs> somebody will yeah. sneak into the uh, to the postseason, like maybe the Ottawa Senators are. I don't know. Detroit's got something happening there, too. That's kind of cool. I don't see them as a playoff team yet. I think I'm going Ottawa. You're going Ottawa. I'm going Ottawa. You're going Ottawa for a playoff team. You're going Boston is the team that's going to miss out. Uh, Corwin, the man who just had a massive eye roll at Krejci, who are you picking for your two? Yeah, like imagine imagine that was your sick free agent sign. Yeah. <laughs> sick. Uh, anyways. <laughs> the, <laughs> well, no, they're going to get Bergeron, too, which is obviously – they. a lot of them thought they weren't going to. So who, who we got in the comments? People are saying Detroit, Seattle. Oh, Seattle. Um, mm. There's no way. There's no I mean, way they make that the playoffs. They're not making the playoffs, but they did be, get a little better. You know, they definitely got you know better. Yeah. You know who's been the most disappointing to me so far is the Canucks. I just, yeah. like, thought they'd do more, yeah. and they just – haven't it's a very basic way to say it like but, uh, and, they, yeah, yeah like, they, they stole your boy Ilya yeah they paid him for an way too much money, money. Like, yeah. what? I, he's a good player so like I don't know I can't really knock it but like at the same time their problem wasn't like depth scoring they've got a lot of scoring like they it's just uh I, I don't know I, I don't know if that's really what like puts Vancouver over the edge and uh I don't know that, that that's been the team that's probably most disappointing for me and then I got to say sense too. Like, again, I'll go New Jersey once they sign Goudreau, but the, um, just cause like, <laughs> I love how you've actually locked it in. <laughs> it's, like, it's not it's happening. It's happening. In it's your happening. Mind. You're like, Dah. but, and by the way, I said a team that made the playoffs. You can't use the Canucks cause that is not oh. what happened. I okay, said a okay, team okay, that okay. made the playoffs. Wow. So the ears are absolutely painted like, on the wild. Like what are the, what are the wild doing? Well, I was going to say predators. Predators right. is probably the easy one to just be what like, mean? they got Forsberg. I know they got Forsberg. everybody Forsberg. thought he was going. I know, but I feel like this year, like they, they made the playoffs bare early last year and i don't know i mean what Vegas, about the kings they got fiala no yeah the, the kings aren't going backwards true they i mean they very well could like that goaltending situation is still very dicey but they're well, getting... plus plus like you'd assume the golden knights are gonna make the playoffs exactly that that's more why i say the predators is like i could see either the golden knights or maybe maybe the canucks get in who knows like they they went on a nice little run at the end of last year so so none of you since all of you have given your answer uh actually never mind sorry i I shouldn't say because i did ask for a team that did make the playoffs but still i haven't really heard anyone speak highly of the oilers for kind of i mean they did you're right kind of get a huge piece I, i get it the campbell deal is five for five you don't like the back end of that but if he is who he was at the beginning of the season their biggest concern was goaltending by far you're not excited for them, you you know. So the chat yeah. might light me up, but they basically just brought back the same team with Jack Campbell and Net. 
Yeah, that's what they did. A team that made the the Western. And Jack Campbell's like just as inconsistent and like struggles with injury. Like I love Jack Campbell. He's better than Mike Smith for sure. Like he's he's definitely less chaotic. And (laughs) although he does have his own adventures around the net, right? Chaotic might not be the one. He's similarly inconsistent. Like he he has inconsistency (laughs) issues. I know. (laughs) It's more like he's. He's usually not going to come out and just pass the puck to the other team for a goal, but he could do that. I mean, I, I yeah, don't know. yeah, that's a signature move for Smith, does it? I, I get it. I mean, he did it a lot. He did it so many it, times. I get it. It would happen like twice. There's yeah. no way it happened. More no, than twice. It, it, it happened, happened more, more than, than twice. Someone cut the film. He, he it happened, happened it twice in the first last game year. of the playoffs. Oh, I remember, but I'm just saying. I feel like it was a little anecdotal. There's no, no. way they're going to do that more than twice last He's year. He's like Russell Westbrook of hockey. You know, he was giving the puck away so he could sprint around the net and make a sweet save like yeah, just we to don't, pad his stats we're not counting know? the times that <laughs> we're not sorry. counting the times that the puck didn't go in there were so many times he did it where it's just like, like oh, he'd he make a crazy save. Save. you know what the onus on you to cut the highlights in. So go ahead, <laughs> oh go ahead. after God. this go ahead and do it yeah i'm i'm hyped for whoa wait this. wait wait leafs are signing dennis Mulgan. <laughs> One oh year. my god i thought that was a <laughs> joke <laughs> i thought it was a do it to him no i honestly like they made the western conference final fine i i don't think that they're gonna do it again with the team that they have I, like running it back i don't know I, I just don't think that they're gonna do it they signed kane again as well yeah, they which you know they took a flyer on they that, got and kane that, and that they got kulak. Yeah. yeah they brought them back yeah those are both level i don't know yeah the, uh, the kulak deal i thought was really good okay how about this who's season they're gonna trade pooley rv and they're gonna trade fogel how, how about this I, i'm gonna put yeah. you two leaf fans on the the hot seat then Who's season realistically? Who goes deeper next year? And even if that means like, okay, well, you know, oh, we'll the get to the... Okay, on, <laughs> What did I ask? That was stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah you set yourself up. How there. chaotic is it going to be when the Leafs play the Senators in the first round? That would that's be the, that's the best because that's the one team we can beat. No, every they like, never beat the Senators. No, in the oh, playoffs. In the playoffs. Yeah. The playoffs. Are the playoffs. gosh darn Buffalo Sabers like those are the Leafs' nightmare teams. But now yeah, the playoffs. No, but the Sens, the, they're the last team we beat in a playoff. Yeah, that's true. That's yep. true. That's so true. So we'll, we'll take that. We that's, had that, that was question. My childhood. I've, I'm not mistaken. At the beginning of this year, I think the very first podcast episode we ever did. Don't quote me on this, even though I'm quoting myself on this. We said what would happen first? Who wins a first round series first? Was it the Sens or the Leafs? And we laughed. What they laughed. I think was it was it answer the question now then. Not funny, haha, yeah, funny it's still weird. The <laughs> <laughs> it's still the Leafs. It's still the Leafs. Yeah, Leafs. I mean like the Sens man, the you're Sens are I'm so Isn't it you're sweating a lot yeah. on that. I mean, I I'm always pumping the Sens tires now. I don't know why, but like I just like I don't know, they just have they're a lot fun. of good like they're players. fun. Like the and and uh, like I I feel like every single video ever I'm like Jake Sanderson's great, <laughs> but Jake Sanderson's pretty great. He, he I, is great. And then obviously all the and then all the players on their current roster now are unbelievable. And like I mean, and once they trade for Matthew Kachuk to complete that, <laughs> <laughs> offer sheet, wink, wink, offer, offer sheet. sheet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesse you just asked if you could call in. I don't. I don't like. This Would, is, do, I we've literally never done we've that. Never before, done that. Jesse. I don't know if this is not a. Uh, just put him on not a radio station. Bad. I'm going to call him in. <laughs> a FaceTime? Is the mic going to pick that up? Yeah, uh, yeah sure. The will. comments, Jesse is coming in. <laughs> wow! Wait, you're gonna have, everyone's going to have to be very... What's going on? Guys, you know how hard it is to take vacation on a day like today? Pretty easy for you, pal. <laughs> I, miss, I miss all of you. I wish I was there. Uh, but it is what it is. Guys, what a, what a day. What a day. Oh, my goodness. How are, how are you feeling about uh, the Jets moves? About the Jets? You know, I, David Riddich is an absolute beauty, as we know. We got to do a video with him. But, look, I don't I don't expect the Jets to have a huge day on a day like today because no one wants to come to Winnipeg, unfortunately, because they don't <laughs> the, know what they're missing out on. The only guy who wanted to go there in free agency was you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and, and the funny thing is, I'm not even in Winnipeg right now. I'm like, I'm like in Ontario, basically, right now, but hilarious guys i just want to say i thought the leafs made a brilliant move with that goalie signing today brilliant the samsonov one oh my can we get that right is it not samsonov by the way i don't know i I hear people say it all the time honestly you're the sports center anchor (laughs) i believe it's samsonov (laughs) yeah we're allowed to mess it up lucas says slurpy capital of the world winnipeg wow he's darn right is it actually capital of the world i would i would be feeling so good right now if i were a Leafs fan after that signing just to know that like just for nothing for nothing he could end up being your starter no question also can we talk about 
with the 2023 <laughs> first overall pick, the Chicago Blackhawks shall add, shall add Connor Bedard. They got to sign Ben Chirot first. Yeah. Uh, Detroit did that. Yeah. I know. I think Arizona's going to come in last, but. Well, don't worry. Let's not spoil that because oh, we got two hours to go here. Jesse. Okay. Appreciate you calling in, pal. It'd be nice to have you here, but fun, glad Jesse. you're enjoying your vacation. That looks like a great little, a great little hey, cottage a, you got what there. A day, what a day. I think, Kuba, I think Kubelich, another sneaky signing by the Red Wings. <laughs> guys, so guys, guys just going to talk about leave. everything we're going to talk yeah, okay. about. <laughs> thank you. But thank you, Jesse. <laughs> we appreciate it. Guys, um, fun. All right. Thank you, pal. Drew Goldsmith, really up on him. Drew Goldsmith really wants us to acknowledge that Jan Ruda signed a three-year deal with the Penguins as well. So it is there you go, Drew. That's Victor Hedman's partner. <laughs> Not the crash test dummy, Eric Chernak. Man, eight what? years. I know. Wow. We, 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 hey, a good what about set, that? Right? Like slapping out eight-year deals left, right, and center. Sergeyev, Shirelli, like they just gave out eight years, eight years, eight years. Good yeah. for them, but it, like. Man, they're going for a nine peat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they kept the core. I, I feel like that's a pretty good job. The one thing, like we were, uh, we were just calling Chernak an absolute zombie in the playoffs. That's zombie. What we that was what you were calling. Yeah. We were trying to figure that out today because to he gets knocked out. around a lot. Blocks well, because he blocks shot. every like shot that it, it's taken. It's crazy. I think and, crash and it, test dummy works a little bit. Looks like he's just hurt though. But the way he moves no, after yeah, he like, blocks uh, a shot, he's like yeah. limping around like a zombie. And there, I'm back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's kind of undead and like you can never really kill him somebody's got to like chop his head off and see but um <laughs> that's uh the zombie that is an insane the zombie. <laughs> remember when i said it was free agent calmness Eight more years. Years. <laughs> the zombie. uh yeah but i actually feel like that's a pretty good pretty good couple moves by the lightning i mean like <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? I don't know. It was in my pocket. I had like a big cube of uh, <laughs> of iPhone charger in my pocket. And cube of iPhone. It yeah. It's a weird one. So, so we we kind of spoke on this a little bit, but I'm gonna propose it a little bit more formally for us here. Who's a team that really does need to do a lot during free agency? And I get it. You know, they still got some time. There's still some big names out there. But who really hasn't done anything? And you're worried about them because it seems like they might not do anything. I, and maybe I'll throw this out there because no one's even talked about them yet, but the Flyers are in a weird position because clearly they <laughs> want to win. Like, you, you don't make that D'Angelo signing unless you're trying to do something with what you have. But but it, that's got to be discouraging if you're out on Goudreau and you're still committed and you still are pushing the cap. And what can they even do now to become a playoff team? Well, so the big thing for them is they're trying to do something. What they're trying to do is they're trying to start a podcast. <laughs> they, they went out and they got Tony D. <laughs> yeah. and, then, uh, and then they forgot that they were a hockey team. and They're, they're absolutely on a tirade to just be like, you know what? What can we do to become less likable? <laughs> if you're a Flyers fan, though, like you look at that signing and you're just like, I would have been happier if we did nothing. Like in terms at, of at this point where they are, like I mean, the money a, tied up for, into all the other guys that they have. Like, would you just punt on this year and be like, let's try and be as bad as we can? I would for sure go full Blackhawks, you know? Yeah, like, like which they're just... not doing at all. No, like, they're, they're, it sounds the like they're gonna keep JVR yeah. too, right? Like JVR is gonna stay the second year in a row. They're trying this. Well, it's crazy because like think about the extension they just signed Russell Linen to, like at the end yes. of last year. Like, man, Philly is just. I don't know. They're they're a bit out to lunch. Don't like they're kind of like Pittsburgh, where they're like, no, you know what? We're doubling down on, on something that like yeah. maybe isn't getting us that much success. Except there's very much a personnel difference. Yeah. On who the is being have made doubled the, down on. The Penguins have made oh the playoffs God, sixteen Alex straight in years. The chat. And he wow. really, and he really wants, wants us to us talk about Robert Thomas. I was not expecting eight years for Robert Thomas, is what I'll say. But like dope season. That's a lot of money. But you know what? Go yeah. off, Queen. Yeah, he's a great playmaker. Yeah. I mean, someone called me Luca Tony, so that's cool. Thank you. What's that mean? Thank you, Tor. Like Luca Tony. We're awesome having this conversation on Leafs. Like, oh, yeah. is Robert oh, Thomas Thomas a one C to you guys, or is like he a high end two C? Ooh, that's like an in between. What, do you, they, what do you mean by so? Do, by that, are you saying is he in the top thirty or in thirty to sixty? Is that what you're saying? Like, I mean, is he a first line centerman or is he a high end second line centerman? You're saying so top thirty or thirty to sixty? He could okay. be top thirty. Or is like not he's top thirty right two? Yeah. Yeah. I don't, he's not top 30 now, is what I would say, but he could be top 30. It's a lot of money for eight years. He's a young guy, though. He had a great year this year. They clearly see him as part of the core. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, like they had a decent playoffs. Like again, they they looked like they were honestly like no shade when Jordan Bennington looked unstoppable for that brief moment against the Avs. It was like, oh man, are they gonna do this? They pressed them easily. If Bennington hard, well, wouldn't have gotten injured, like I don't know what. Like he was locked in. He he had that superhuman vibe to him that he had when he took them on that run and and everyone was kind of like oh god are they gonna do something here am and i am i dreaming by the way or when we did a live with jordan bennington wasn't he playing like poker on his phone or something and, no. and yeah. or was it like a racing game <laughs> no he was, it was something weird he was definitely playing and, poker. and i remember being in the chat and be like this this should probably end right yeah like, we're yeah. watching <laughs> someone was, play poker he was definitely playing poker that was weird yeah it was i, I didn't acknowledge yeah, that i'm gonna say it that was weird that was he, he like weird. had like it was like where he like didn't hear a question because yeah. he was like i'm playing poker yeah and we're like, well you could just do that <laughs> while <not> online <laughs> anyways uh i want to get back though because i brought in the flyers though you know for that that team that really it seems shaky like you know, how are they going to get back into the playoffs? But it seems like it's going to be a task. Anyone, anyone have a team that you're kind of concerned for, even just after day one of free agency? Um, what do you guys think of the Islanders? I didn't think highly of them to begin the day, but I, like, I can see their path to getting to the playoffs. Like they, they were seriously injured last year. Right. Um, I, I <laughs> they have such good goalies too. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, and defensemen, is, like you, you love Bullock, you love Pellick. Yeah, but I guess Dobson. the one thing the one thing that's weird is that they don't have Barry Trotz anymore, which like yeah, I mean it's definitely a game changer considering it. I feel like, like think about how much credit everybody gave him for which which will be interesting to see if that was right or wrong to give them so much credit and not necessarily the players. I also am excited to see if Matt Barzal is kind of unleashed because mm-hmm. like he was so electric that one year and then they brought Trotz in and he just kind of like been whatever since then and uh, obviously i'm sure islanders fans are fine with that because they've had a lot of postseason success and things like that but uh i don't know i'm just they'll they'll probably be a more exciting team which is kind of fun if they get goudreau i like i'm just looking at it i have no idea how they're going to do it those were the reports today though Uh, no i know i they have to move a lot of money like 11 million in calf space this morning they do but they also have to sign Kiefer bellows noah dobson and romanov and they'll have to re-sign barzell next Next year year, along with oliver wallstrom who had a really good year and if they decide uh, yeah i guess you move on from barlamov next year obviously and you ride with sorokin but like these contracts are, um, it, I don't know who's taking on any of these. I got another uh, two-pronged attack question for you guys, and uh, do me a favor and don't answer the second part or make a question your own. Just answer this first one, because okay. it's going to lead naturally into the opposite of this well, question. Don't ask the second part yet. I won't, but I, <laughs> it's happened twice already now, so I'm priming you guys for this. Uh, who, as a team, got the best deal today? Lizen, that is a great contract for the team. Not for the player, for the team. Ooh. I don't want to say Evander Kane because I'm like, <laughs> but that's probably the most team friendly. That's okay. Yeah, there, right? that's all right. I don't know because there's obviously risk with that because, like, again, he was given a long term contract before and that right. didn't work out so well. But the, like, again, we keep talking about him, but like, in my mind, it's probably Giroux. Like, especially right. when you're the Sens and, yeah. like, it's not a long term deal, three years. Three years. No. He's still playing at an incredibly high level. Um, he puts up a lot of points still. He controls the game. He's just like an excellent forward to add. So actually, you know who else? He's changing his answer. No, no, no. Sorry. I want to go back to your other question about teams that I think could really fall, and it's the Panthers. Cause okay. Because yeah. they lost they like, Marchment. They yep. lost Giroux. Um, and Duclair's hurt to start the year. Yeah. And they were frauds to begin with. And so. they were frauds to begin yeah. with. They might trade Mackenzie Weger, which is they also again weird. and not again not trying to be this person, but like you know their coach signing it wasn't necessarily the most inspiring. One, yeah, if I'm being perfectly yeah. you know what they went from, but yeah. Who else? I'm we just kind of looking stands, at though. the we stand. I know. Yeah. I love that they got Nathan. We Stans. stand. That was cool. All right. Well, you. How about you guys? Who got the best deal? I know. Well, you said you hesitantly you're committing to the cane, and yeah, you know, not said so Drew. hesitantly you're saying Drew. How about you, Luca? I'm kind of just looking through them. There are a lot that I don't like. That's for sure. <laughs> okay. Well, don't worry. That's the second um, part of that. Oh, I love that two pronged attack. Um, <laughs> there honestly aren't many that were just like. Okay. Well, we're gonna flip to the other super side. Super team since, friendly. Since Luca's not impressed yeah, no, by no, anything. Let me give one. Let me give one. I'll right. give. Uh, I don't know. 
let's go let's go anthony sorelli i kind of like the eight year extension for him it's not a free agent yeah. but you lock him up in the play it was amazing and like 6.25 with the cap going up like that's gonna I'll look. I'll take that money. Yeah. I guess it is risky though, because he didn't have a sure. great regular season, right? If Offensively, I'm... there's a lot to be desired. And maybe there's a world in which like Samsonov has an excellent season and becomes the Leafs' number one. Well, I mean that contract, yeah. yes. And it's got a high you're upside. paying him 1.8 mil. Okay, what? I, I'm gonna throw out the question. What do you think? This guy of... threw out a question. Yeah. I get, is it better not be what this question was gonna be anyway? No, no, no. Okay. No. So, what do you think the Leafs are more likely to have a goalie battle Obviously with? I it was a Leafs question. Uh, nine twenty goalies or nine hundred goalies? Like, you know what I mean? Like in mm. terms of. <laughs> 900 is so optimistic. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're looking at Mike Vernon numbers for next year? What do you well, mean? I, no, I just mean like, like well, but the, the 900 battle is that can include below 900 because it's like, right, oh, we're right, right, right around 900. Like, who's our like best goalie? Like 888 right across like the terrible. board. But uh, I'm going to go 920. I feel like they're both going to have a great year. No way. This All I'm asking for is 9-10. Like, they don't need great years even. They just need average goaltending. If they can get 9-10, 9-12 range. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, chat. Don't worry. I'm going to swing us away from the Leafs somehow. Okay. <laughs> here. All right. Here it is. Okay. So the second half of this, and I'm going to try and frame this in a positive way because, you know what? We're happy for players who get their bag, get their money. No one's mad at that. No. Get paid, man. Whatever. It's either that or the owners keep the money. So which player got the best deal? And I'm saying this where the, the team – they probably didn't get the greatest thing out of that, but the player, ooh, if there's one, they're guy, loving. If the there's deal. if there's one guy, it's Eric Goodbranson getting four by four yeah. in Columbus. Like you go, way buddy. to go, way to go. What 16? happened? There? I have no idea, but amazing. Good for you, Eric Goodbranson. Like you're a beauty. I'm. Uh, hey, that was it. Okay. Double that up. Like if you How want about another, another one. one. What do I need to get? <laughs> no, that's a great deal. No, I I thought it was a great deal. Just, wow. I thought it was just really? a lot of money. <laughs> it was just a lot of money. Yeah, but he's so good. He's like, I don't know. I I, I like Nachushkin, but the other one I was gonna say was Mik- like Mikheyev. Yeah. Oh yeah. Who like, like again? Go get your good, money, young fella. Yeah, good player. But the one thing I like that. Uh, wow. No, I won't. I won't say it because he was trying to steer it away from the Leafs, and I almost brought it back again. <laughs> <laughs> Julia, how about you go ahead and do us a favor and not steer us towards the Leafs? Who do you who do you got? The, You're happy for them. They got their money. Maybe not as happy for the team. Um, I don't know. Like <laughs> <laughs> Nick Laddie. Nick Laddie's another yeah, good one. Yeah, yeah he got four years. Four by right? four as well. Yeah. Like He's you guys old. were way less floored by Rob Thomas than I was. But I was um, floored when they gave him. Did, I mean, eight. what what do we think of Vincent Trocheck getting seven? Where did he get seven years or eight years? Seven. It was years seven. At, and with the Rangers too, who yeah. it, uh, were trying to not overcommit to people and then they made that deal which is a little you know interesting it's, it's a long one like it's it's a big commitment it's, it's not like crazy dollars no but, um... but it's term for sure but you're right not crazy dollars and i know i was telling you guys not to swing towards the leafs but it doesn't have to be leaf centric here campbell you guys aren't happy for him Oh, I'm going to get that. crazy. Goalies get 5.5, five, 5 by 5s now, I guess. Wow, the chat is firing off about something. Why? What happened, what guys? What happened, chat? Nothing Sergeyev happened. 8 by 8.5 is good for him. That's true. The Sergeyev one is interesting, yeah. for sure. Like, he got paid like a number one defenseman. He's not the best defenseman on his team. Yeah. I don't, I don't even know if, like... But he got a bag. Did you say Sergeyev? Yeah. I, I, someone put it into perspective for me today, uh, JP, like one of the radio producers, and he was like, p- think about this. Sergeyev is making more than Hedman now. Isn't that crazy? So nice. Like, that's is, crazy. Wow. He has not earned that so, in my mind. Like, yeah. No. One team we haven't talked about yet, uh, we just talked about a player, but we haven't really gone into depth of them. And it's a team that's interesting because uh, two of the people in here, Julia, hate them. Uh, I don't know your stance on them yet. I know. I enjoy them. They're fine. The Rangers. New York Rangers. I don't hate the Rangers. I don't hate them. Cords of Fine. I Didn't believe them. in them fully. Can I, I say them. that at least? You don't hate them. You're right. Yeah, but I also picked them to win their division. Okay. You did. You did, but then immediately didn't back them in the playoffs. It's fine. Either they way. Didn't deserve I, I'm just playing around anyways. You can like them this year. And maybe you do. But Honestly, maybe to like them this year, what would you like to see the New York Rangers do with what is out there, with what is available? Could be a move, could be a trade, could be a signing. What kind of deal would you guys like to see the Rangers make so that they remain relevant next year? I thought exactly what they did was a good move. Because again, I just think they they lack 
control and they in like five on five five on five play they are just not very good and then Trocek's a great five on five player the great center depth uh, I mean someone I yelled, wa- someone yelled liar at you by the way for the Rangers thing so thank you Chad well I was gonna say I'll make a bet that when <laughs> the Devils sign Johnny Goudreau they will finish higher than the Rangers this season. I'm not Ooh. taking that bet. As much That's as I a hate, spicy one. As much as I hate the Rangers, I'm I'm going Rangers still. Whoa! Yeah. Okay, so Corwin hates the Rangers. Corwin <laughs> hates like, the Rangers. Yeah. Well, it's kind of nice because now I can like even cheer for their rival. Like that's kind of sick. <laughs> He's sick. This guy hates the Rangers. Like, couldn't be any more like, oh, 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 please don't put words in my mouth. And then he could, like puts more words in his own mouth. But whatever. How about you, Julia? What do you think? What would you like to see the Rangers do? You care about the Rangers that much? Not, happy not with really. No? Like, I, I, I think as long as you've got the goaltending situation that they've got going on between the pipes, you're probably going to be a fairly competitive team. Like, I honestly think goaltending matters that much and he probably was the difference what are you grinning about he probably was no, the difference you, for them in a lot paused, of moments in the playoffs you paused where you went you went i honestly think goaltending matters and then you that thought matters. about your own and then you and then you oh here. No, I, thought you, I thought you were just saying matters and i was like i agree uh, that much yeah that much yeah. someone in the chat earlier said goaltending doesn't matter my mom's facetiming me mom we're live on youtube she, she, <laughs> she saw jesse trying to call in from home and it working somehow we should have barred that man uh just kidding Anna, Spe- Anna's not subscribed. While still on the, the topic of the Rangers, Georgia, yeah, that's a pretty good backup for you guys. That's a good, like, you know, prove yeah. yourself. I'm in. Yeah, I, great I Photoshop no work by them, too. Oh, yeah. Wait, you think Expert he'll be your team. backup? No, no, he's going to be the starter. Yeah. Oh, it, you don't think no no more moves for them? You think no, Georgia no. has. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I he's, hadn't really thought of that. Yeah, he's the starter. Okay, they're, for him. they're literally, like, they're going money ball on goalies, which. Honestly, I kind of appreciate it. It's, it's one of those things where, like... He's still Francois, right? He's still Francois. He's making a couple million, but, like, this is a prove-it deal. It's not long-term. He's got high upside, and you're banking on him coming into a defensive system that is one of the best in the NHL. They've got six defensemen that I think are the best defensive group in the league. Their forwards are great defensively. Like, th- this truly is, I think, the best defensive team in the NHL for all the offensive kind of upside they have and firepower they have. And so, yeah, like that, this is, this was the ultimate move because we were able to keep Josh Manson and Lekkonen and Nachushkin because of moves like this. When, if we would have given Kemper that extra 2 million, maybe one of those guys is a casualty. Well, and does anyone want to add to that? Or can I move on to what I actually think might be the most interesting question we haven't asked yet? Wow. Okay. All right. Yeah. What a teaser there. Kadri is the biggest name probably left on the board because Goudreau, apparently, according to non Devils insider, <laughs> Corey I have, I have he's absolutely locked. no sources. <laughs> Trust me, bro. He's locked in. Well, a someone in tr- the chat just said Goudreau to the Ducks. Now I'm like looking on Twitter if there's anything real about don't that. Follow no, the don't chat. follow the chat. No, don't follow the chat. That's honestly, Julia, when you said they that, try and they mess you up. were like, yes! <laughs> someone yelled because <laughs> they, yell. they want. Uh, but okay, so Kadri, because it's it's an interesting situation because he's totally earned himself a great payday. He's another guy who, get your money, my man. But um, it's weird. Like some of the doors have kind of started to close as far as teams you thought he was going to go to. Not so sure if he goes to the Red Wings now, right? Uh, the Rangers, that was a weird one out there. Probably not going to buy him. He's maybe not going back to the Avs unless he takes something a lot less than what you think his market value is. But where do you guys think? Kadri ends up in what kind of deal you think he's looking at? If yeah, if you had to put a guess in, I still think he fits with Washington. I think Washington would be a great fit for him, with, especially if Backstrom's hurt. Uh, we we talked about it on a different thing that um, where basically just if Backstrom's on LTIR, that's like nine mil that's freed up. Yeah, that's pretty much a like for like replacement. Who like again? It's so weird the NHL nowadays that like when guys get hurt like that, it's like you just have no idea if they'll ever play a game again because even. Even if they do get healthy, I feel like teams encourage them to be like, hey, Duncan Keith, you should retire. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so, I mean, like, I feel like Carter would be a great fit there. Great second center. They've already, obviously, they're not giving up. They added Kemper, and they, uh, I don't know, that just makes sense. Well, you just gave some water to the man who was dying of thirst for us to talk about the Caps. But uh, anyone else? who we're, Someone in the chat was going up. Oh, like, talk about, about the Caps. caps. <laughs> he was dying out Relax. there. Relax. I think Darcy Kemper's a good ad for them. Like, if, it's yeah. funny because, like, if there was, as much as we're talking, like, oh, like, I don't know, all the goalies the same, whatever. 
if there was one goalie to make a bet on and you'd be like you'd assume they'd be pretty good it's probably Kemper out of all those guys yep. like he's definitely got the best track record well going back to Kadri here uh Julia and Luca where do you think he ends up what kind of money is he getting I don't know well what kind of money is he getting like what do you guys think nine eight like it just sounds like it's gonna be so much money now even though it's I know like for sure but this is the day I forget well. who said this to me earlier today uh, that just today is the day that GMs mess up the most and spend oh, yeah. the most money kind of unnecessarily. Frenzy. It is a frenzy after all. And I think Kadri's going to be one of the guys that ends up being the beneficiary of that. Um, I don't know, like 8.5 maybe? That's if that's what right. Robert Thomas is getting as a, as a second line centerman, a high-end one, like that's probably what Kadri is going to fetch, right? Yeah, and... Okay, we have the term. Luca, you want to say a team then? What do you, what do you think? You, that's that's your guy. I know you wanted to see him back. Wait, the someone abs. stop. Someone just said they like my hair in the chat. <laughs> I love you, Rory. <laughs> <laughs> that's something you can read in the chat. Aaron, sure. before I answer, Aaron Bull, he's going to keep asking this question. Julia, when are you going back to Thunder Bay? Well, Bro, I didn't want to answer spam. because I haven't actually asked for the time off yet, but I'm supposed to go in like two weeks. <laughs> All right, now stop spamming the chat and no one hey, else hey, spam because we're not going to read. Goob Fisher, we see you too. Next week? She's going back to Thunder Bay at some point. Um, listen, I honestly don't know what team. I, I was convinced it was the Rangers. Capitals makes a lot of sense. Does There's, he go to Calgary this time around? Like, I know he nixed going there initially when, like, before he was traded to Colorado. Yeah. Like, he had the chance to go there, and he didn't want to go there. I think that's because he just loved being a Leaf at that yeah. point, though. I and think that had less to do with that. Uh, makes sense. Yeah. yeah, less to do about Calgary. Apparently, he wants to play for a contender, so, like, that takes a team like the Anaheim Ducks out of it. Like, right. you're going to go there and... Just hope that you can make the playoffs? No. So I wonder if he goes back to the Avs and they trade Sam Gerrard. Like, they, this is something that I've been talking about on... You said Isles lot. earlier, right? You did say Isles potential? No? They could. I just don't know, like, what they're going to do with their money. There's no but chance it, he plays for Lou again. Like, just no. let me throw Ooh, that right too. down. Yeah, He's not playing for Lou again. Just, uh, yeah. Yeah. Forgot about that. I what a, what a them... revenge tour that would be, though. Yeah. Like, hey. Now you're paying for me to come back, buddy? Yeah. Like, yeah. But also, for every nah, penny. You're yeah, I don't. Way. Could he go? Could he go back to Colorado? Sure. They they would have to trade Sam Gerrard or Eric Johnson and free up five or six million. And I just don't see the benefit to moving a guy like that, like Sam Gerrard, who's young, who's probably a pretty valuable guy, not only on the ice, but if you want to trade him in the future for something. Um, I would trade him if you're trying to make money for like Byram's contract or McKinnon's contract rather than bringing Kadri back Fine. and giving him $9 million. <laughs> Sam Gerrard for Jake Muzzin straight up. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> uh, this is a great question from, from Brad K because we haven't mentioned him and he is a free agent and I get it. He's certainly a little bit closer to like the twilight, especially of his prime and his career. Johnny Goudreau? No, he's going to the Devils. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you for filling that in for us. And thank you to who said that they like my hat. I appreciate that, too. Put that in there. <laughs> Julie, just compliment us, guys. Just compliment us. We'll get But no, uh, P- <laughs> that's what we want. That's what we want. <laughs> P.K. Subban. Oh. Where's he ending up? You know? Well, yeah, the Leafs? There was nah, a I brief don't... moment of that. <laughs> the Leafs? I don't, I don't think so. Why not? I've spent very little time thinking about this one. <laughs> to be so honest, I mean, with you, I, I understand don't know. why. We saw him in Montreal, by the way, and I had the weirdest interaction with him. I, I don't know if I was just sitting in a weird place, and it was like one of these events where he so it was a Red Bull uh, for like um, Formula One event, and he's sponsored by Red doing Bull. The Zamboni he's stuff. doing the Zamboni stuff, and it was like a pretty quiet day, but there was media there, and everyone was available for media except for PK because it was Montreal media and. Obviously, he's like, I'm not doing that. I'm yeah. not speaking to anyone. Understandable. He comes back to the tent after doing all the Zamboni stuff, all smiles. And then the second he got close to the media, that smile was like gone. And then he kind of like passed by and I was by myself at the table. And he's so awkward. It's like, hey. <laughs> and walked by. And I was like, it's like a hey is in like he's seen our face, like ever saying something bad about him. Or he was just like, I have to because I've locked eyes. I don't know. But I don't think I also don't really say bad things about him. Neither do I. I, oh. I think... Uh, like, I don't know, he's just solid, but it's, like, the, for the Leafs side of it, like, he, it's just, like, are you getting rid of Justin Holden, or, like, uh, or, I don't know, it's just a weird, weird fit, because, like. He's probably not going back to New Jersey. No. So, where do you think, then? I mean, you don't say Leafs, and no, this is not an ad. <laughs> um, that one, honestly, where? I have no idea. I, I had a, in, 
I, I was like, oh, have some be, fun. Put a hat on. Well, I was going to say it'd be nice if he went back to Montreal, but everything you just said suggests he wouldn't be very interested. <laughs> no, in just the media part of it. Well, and I'm, plus, I'm not there anymore. <laughs> well, he's just so connected to the community there that I think it'd be nice if, like, again, the, the, if he's signing kind of a, a bargain deal and, and, and they're looking to add somebody, why not, right? But it doesn't. it's not going to really make a difference for them. Or, But I don't really know, like... Is he going to make a big difference on any team? That's what I mean. Like, like I, I can't see, like, a contender being really hot and heavy to, I don't know. He'll be, like, a solid depth guy, but, yeah. like, honestly, you know where solid depth guys go? Tampa. He's just going to end up in Tampa. Go get a yeah. ring? Yeah. Uh, I thought he was going to go to the Avs, honestly. I, I that would like, fit, for, too. Yeah, I was like, if they don't get Manson, he's a cheaper option. He can play, like, the style of play they like to play. He's an offensive guy, so just plug him in. He winds up really big. Yeah. We have a lot of wrist shot guys. We need a slap shot guy. Love that. It's electric. <laughs> Absolutely. It actually is, honestly. Electric. It's pretty electric. He's a pretty electric player. And you see that wind up. Yeah, you love it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I like. He's in such a weird place where it, obviously maybe maybe in in a like less pressure role, he he'll, he's able to succeed a little more and kind of wins back some people you think of like obviously zach bogosian and like guys like that that um have kind of done that right like he's actually like just a solid player for good teams now and uh, that could totally be pk do you think there's a move out there and i'm going to shift back to the oilers here do you still think there's anything out there for them as far as uh, a deal to be made to to put them even further now? Because, again, like, say whatever you want about them and how they got to the Western Conference Finals, but, like, they're clearly in for doing something and they're a contender of sorts. So what's something that you think, in your mind, and, again, have some fun here, uh, make it somewhat realistic, what is something they could do? Well, who is a player out there they should be looking at if you sure. had that job? It's not very fun to say Connor Brown because it kind of looks like that's <laughs> not the most happen. fun answer, but it's an answer. Uh, aesthetically, he max- matches the jerseys perfectly as well, which I Good point. always Hadn't appreciate. Thought. The team, like if, they, yeah, if David's a what a ginger, yeah, go on. The, <laughs> yeah, I feel like he's he's got like kind of red hair ish. I don't know, like, but so I feel like maybe he'll just fit in in that way. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 wow yeah. these guys are just trading, oh my God, you guys are so trading charges I, I was trying to be sneaky about it and yeah. like hey can i have some of your charge and i was just pointing and then he was just like huh what <laughs> who I thought, I thought you were saying take <clears throat> take your phone off the table no, go ahead i was like That's is okay. it vibrating no no it's okay um oh someone wants to know who's going to minnesota oh sorry you just asked a question I was like, <laughs> who's going to minnesota <laughs> don't, worry. don't worry you guys uh, trample funny. over the questions <laughs> um, i don't know i i don't see them doing anything really big and splashy and yeah I, the oilers I, see... I feel like they're pretty solid I yeah i think they're done like it's like their moves i just no i think their team finished club <laughs> no i genuinely think they're a really good team i know you were saying like say whatever about how they made it i thought they were just like a very good team and they have like the most electric players in the world and uh i was going off of your own energy but i'm glad you said the electric part because it's true and you should be hyped for them yeah i'm they're yeah they're a great team i mean like people it's weird because darnell nurse people are gonna be like in the regular season he's great and then well, he was hurt as well yeah. like let's he remember was. that like, and brutally hurt yeah. Yeah, yeah i'm not i'm not trying to knock him it was just weird that like because like i feel like people have been praising him for so long and then the playoffs came around and everyone was like What's with this guy? And obviously, yeah. like you guys said, that who's he was this hurt. guy? Well, yeah. Was it like a torn hip flexor or something ridiculous? Yeah, yeah, it was a torn hip flexor. These guys are all freaks. And Evan Bouchard, I think, is awesome. he's great. So, he's so if he can take another step, if they can actually get Broberg into the mix, he's supposed to be great. So Left I mean, bomb. like, I feel like Edmonton, you should all just be buzzing. Obviously, you hope Jack Campbell works out, but. By the way, as, as Leafs fans and you know semi Sabres fans, because his name is being mentioned as like, hey, you should go there. And speaking of the Oilers again, uh, Pugliarvi, because seeing they're interested that there's not much interest in him, because he's a bit of like an odd player that's like great, but still doesn't have much like offensive upside and finish. He's like, polarizing. Yeah, he's yeah. polarizing. He's cool issue. if he ends up on the Sabres. Great smile, weird tongue. But would you guys be happy if he ended up on your team somehow? Yeah. Just as a nice depth piece. I want the Avs to trade for him. Just do it. Really? Him and Nachushkin. Because it sounds like they want they not want a lot for him. Yeah. Like, like just, yeah, get him. Like, if, am I going to take, uh, like, Adam Gaudet or Jesse Pugliarvi? I'll take Jesse Pugliarvi, you know? like Yeah. 
Like, he didn't score a lot of goals last year. His finishing was tough last year. Who cares? Like, he does everything else well to get that guy on your team. When he shoots, he scores. No. That that was no. the opposite of what he did. <laughs> <laughs> no, isn't that what he said? Isn't that his quote? Oh, okay, sorry. I, thought you were saying I was so confused. No, I was yeah, like, yeah, I was yeah like, he does that sometimes pretty weirdly. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, no. Yeah. no, he said that himself. But, uh, uh, so well, finally, he's wrong. <laughs> I know you guys have liked how I've teased some of these uh, questions. And, you know, this is actually the biggest question of this stream. This is the one we have just completely danced around somehow. And I'd like to thank you guys for saving it because this is a big one. I'm going to need you to think long and hard. Ooh. I think how he's, I think he's do... going to New Jersey. <laughs> oh, oh, Goudreau, thank yeah. you. We already locked that in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, outsider Corin McCallum. Um, <laughs> no, but the biggest question on all of your minds who are the Sabres going to get between the pipes? Because I know that they signed Malcolm Subban to a two-way deal. But they need a goalie still. And Matt Murray was like, I'm not going there. <laughs> who is it? <laughs> I mean, there's none left, pal. I know. <laughs> Craig left. Anderson. That's what I was going to say. Like, they're probably going to run it back with Craig Anderson, aren't That's they? That's fun. I just, I was so confused. I've talked to you a bunch about this because I always thought like this Ukapeka Lukanen guy is supposed Uka to be. Peka. Uka it's... Peka. Dude, it was so dope in the Sioux. They used to, ch in the Sioux, in Sudbury, they used to chant that for him. Is Sudbury going to be mad at you for that? Is no. That like a, is that a big... I corrected myself quickly. Yeah, 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 Peka, like such a dope chant. If they can get it that is. going. He's yeah, playing. but he's supposed to be great. And like, he is. Yeah. And so I don't understand why, like, health. In Can't, he hasn't, you know, so he stayed healthy and he's still young and, you know, you want some consistency in there. It's, you're looking for a veteran oh, yeah. more than anything the to kind of help got... you out. Wait. Hmm? Never mind. I don't know what that was, but <laughs> that's okay. We'll go right back. Um, you know, I think they're looking for a, a veteran presence, and I'm joking. We don't have to talk about the Sabres goaltending. No, but I mean, but uh, uh, they. Yeah, I I just I'm I'm more just saying oh, I feel yeah. like they should go all in on youth because that's kind of what they did last year and it was fun and they should continue that with their goalie because we've all seen the trend of like hey you know who ends up having good goalies people who draft them and then develop yes them. wait guys the reason I stopped talking midway through is because it was in the chat and then I was like no wait I remember that and then I went to check the tracker they got Eric yeah. Comrie today too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I that's actually that. okay. a decent sign. Well, then, then there. We, I was thinking that the Leafs solved. were actually going to try to get it's been, Eric Comrie as the a problem. backup because he was pretty good behind Hellebuck this year. Yeah. It's been solved. Uh, so guys, it, the reason I stopped was because, oh, my God, you guys scared me. I thought me it was the something chat. about the chat. Oh, okay. And, and oh, then okay. I was like, wait, but I know this in, in my brain. And then I had to chat. <laughs> was, Sometimes the chat is on it. Yeah. Sometimes uh, the chat is lying. You got to decide. Thanks, guys. You know what, though? This still segues very nicely. Uh, into something that's not a joke topic, but wow, wait, <laughs> the Flames are signing Oscar Dansk. You can't play like <laughs> and that. And the Flyers made a move. Nick Delorier, welcome to the squad. <laughs> really? There's the yeah. move you guys were waiting for. I mean that. Well, that's actually again. kind of a dope move. That's he, so Flyers. In for them. He's yeah. a Flyer. He's gonna rock a black eye the whole time. Oh yeah. <laughs> so getting to my real question <laughs> here, but uh, sure. this it used to segue into it. Thanks, guys. Trampled. Uh, a big part of the off season too is yeah you're getting ready to be a contender but some people they're getting ready to suck yeah because <laughs> it, it's time to get a nice healthy draft pick it's a way better odds of getting one or two this year applaud them it takes smart. effort to be that bad no and it really does who are you most impressed with as far as wow is that an NHL team I got it I don't know everyone's gonna say Chicago it's Arizona and it's because they right. start the season on the road for 20 of their first 24 games before playing in front of 600 people for the rest and of I don't think they play Saturday night games because they're not allowed at the university to play Saturday night games like there's gonna be that's uh, a bummer for anyone yeah. who wanted to make a national it's game gonna out of be that. tough I think those 20 of 24 on the road to start they're gonna be in such a big hole and like the, the Blackhawks for for as bad as they are they still have Seth Jones and Patrick Kane and Jonathan Taves for now and Max Domi and Athanasiu and some other young guys. Like, whatever. They've got actual players. What I feel like those move. are just pieces for the deadline. For that That's right. Well, yeah. those are, I mean, guys, those are floor pieces. No, yeah, like, but those are just get... like, here, we'll we'll deal you at the deadline, Max Domi. Exactly. That exactly. One but we'll get they're going to have them back. until the deadline, yes. yeah. so they'll help them in some way. Yeah. Okay. So, are you guys picking your? I mean, it, it it feels like it has to be the Coyotes still. Nice try, yeah. Blackhawks. So there, and though you have a good chance of being the two. And hey, they missed out on Ben Sherratt. That would have really suited. <laughs> it would have. It would have. <laughs> yeah. Um, Is Montreal gonna be 
better this year? Yes. Or are they just going to be fun? Better than last better year. Than yes. last better than last year. Better than last year. Okay. Not a playoff. I'm but not just asking, yeah. okay? We're before pissed. everyone just jumps all over <laughs> me. Aww, pissed. What about the, the Flyers? The Flyers could. They're yeah. not trying to do that. They're, they're not the, trying to. They're, they're not trying to, but <laughs> last year they weren't trying to either, and there they were is, really bad. There is no way. They were six the points better than the signed, Canadians last there's year. There's no way the Flyers actively signed players in free agency trying to help their cause and somehow end up worse than the Arizona I mean, Coyotes. Hey, they were so well, six points better than the Habs last year. Just six. That's, yeah, well. They didn't get better. It's because St. Louis came in there and had them on a heater. So. I know, but they didn't get. The Flyers didn't get better this year. Yeah, they got better. Not by much. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't think they got better. Not by a lot. I'm looking at the standings now, and that Devils Rangers prediction is a terrible. Lot. The Devils are real it was bad. Terrible. They were terrible. Devils outsider nah, Corn McCallum is shaken. Yeah, when the Devils an, like oh, inevitably no. sign Goudreau, playoffs. <laughs> inevitably. Playoffs you even back down a little bit. Layoffs. What? Inevitable sounds actually like more of a back down, even slightly. Because you How? Were, no. It's locked in. There you okay. go. Oh, yeah, I want what that about energy. what about uh, the sharks? Are the sharks an underrated? Actually, how about the Burns trade? Let's That's talk what about I was that. Say. Yeah, the, the Burns move. Why don't we talk about that a little Whoa. bit? Whoa. Okay. This what? better be a real one. This is actually something interesting. The Tell whispers us. have been there all day from Chris Johnston. Columbus is lurking in the shadows of this Johnny Gaudreau sweepstakes. Whoa! Whoa. Corwin, wow! Devil's Guys, outsider, Corwin McCallum. Devil's, what do you have to say? Devil's outsider checking in here. They are going to stay in the shadows. <laughs> like, imagine. There's nothing to back that up with. <laughs> like, literally nothing. You're just I'll, like. I'll tell you. I'll like, tell you what. I have back. <laughs> yeah. Listen, this is how I'm backing it up. And it's that it's Columbus. Like. <laughs> yeah, it's mean to say. Lads, but come on. It's Columbus. It's Columbus. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, like, Jesse understands. Like, he comes into these days and he goes. These it's are Winnipeg. tough days for Winnipeg. <laughs> yeah. Okay, he goes. It's hard to get people here, and I feel like I'm not even being mean to Columbus. Yeah, Columbus you are. Like <laughs> you are a little bit. Yeah. Not... Have you been to Columbus? I've never been to Columbus. I've been. I've been I to Ohio can't before. Can't remember. I went I've to been. a White Castle in Ohio once. I don't remember where though. It's definitely better than Winnipeg. Yeah, I'd argue that for sure. I'd have that argument. I guess. Mm. Okay. Uh, one thing: if they throw crazy money at him, because the one thing I was gonna say about the Johnny Gaudreau thing is that does it not seem like crazy? Like I thought the money was gonna be way higher for him. Higher than nine? Yeah. How much higher? I <laughs> thought he was gonna get like ten and a half. Didn't the Flames mm. offer him ten? Yeah, I think yesterday they bumped it up they to ten. Bumped it up to ten, and he just said no. Because it wasn't about the money. It wasn't a money issue, he said. It's it was like a, So that's another reason why I'm saying no to Columbus. Johnny because Toretto. Because he wanted to go close to home. And I don't really know my American geography, so maybe, I don't know. What's going on. <laughs> that's close. <laughs> it's much closer. He watched the entire Fast franchise, and he's all about family now. Wow. Wow, look at that. That's, oh, I didn't understand what the name you were Johnny Toretto. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I didn't get that either. But yeah. We're not Italian no enough. It's okay. Um, apparently, like, according to this report, though, the, the Islanders and Devils are the front runners, but the Blue Jackets have made a big play. Come on. Yeah. We got Devils outsider. Corn Devils McCallum outsider here. checking in. And uh, <laughs> Devils. How many games you watched last year? Eight? Eight? Nine? Oh, Devils games? Oh, yeah. No, I watched quite a few. Ten? I, I, was, I was in the Jack Hughes. So Ten? Oh. I'm Jack Say the number. <laughs> Uh, yeah, probably 10. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Devil's outsider. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be not that many. lock for the playoffs. And uh, when they lock in Johnny Gaudreau, when, when they lock it in is now because it's already happened. <laughs> okay. Uh, by the right. way, can we say rest in peace finally if we're speaking about like, whoa, lots of money, high deal, and Winnipeg being sad. Remember when <laughs> Jesse put a call out for a one-year $18 million contract <laughs> for, for a game <laughs> Wild Those rest the days. in peace. Those were the days. Whatever the hell he that was, was thinking there. That was dumb. Oh, incredible. Um, the Stroms. Where where where's Ryan? Let's go. Let's start with Ryan first because he, he's going to command more money. Uh, where do you think Ryan Strom ends up? Because he'd be a, a nice piece to add in. You know, he's such a weird one. Yeah. Like he's just so overlooked constantly. Were you surprised that? the rangers didn't bring him back in the first place because I, I was like i, I thought that was kind of weird but like trocheck is like similar money and i do think that's an upgrade probably right. although it is but it's weird it's weird because it is like going away from their identity because which in my opinion is a good thing because like mm -hmm. as we said we we did call them frauds and things like that and that was uh we proved them frauds 
They no, they had a good postseason, but know, the, the whole thing, the whole thing, the reason that we were saying that, and we've explained this many times, is that the reason I was saying it is because of their style of play, where it was like heavily reliant on power play and goalies, and like in my, that doesn't that, make you fraudulent, by the way. It doesn't. I, that, in, that, in my definition, it does more. Just like in the in the hockey that I think is like, but I just and I'll totally give you the floor to to respond to this, just because I can hear Jesse yelling this in my ear, and also because I actually just agree with it. That doesn't make you a fraud, though, because your identity still is like, yeah, you're going to give up some chances and you hope your goalie keeps you in there. And you've got some top line players who are skilled. And sure, do you have to play hero puck a little bit and really rely on your stars to be able to get you through, including your goalie and including your, your stars in Zabanajad and Panarin and obviously Kreider? That's your plan, though. That doesn't make you a fraud. That's your identity. A fraud is about identity theft, right? And that's your identity is to play that way. So but how are they frauds? The, 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 the theft is that people think they're a good team. But if it works for you, they made it to the Eastern Conference Well, no, finals. if it works, fine. But, like... I just don't think you can say I, fraud. You can say not it's bad. not a high chance to no, win. That's the difference. They're worse than where they ended up, though. Like, they're a worse team than an Eastern Conference final team. I think we, we could... Just because they made it there doesn't mean they deserve to be there. And I would say, I mean, yes, it does. <laughs> this is, by the way, maybe, no, I also don't. Maybe agree. Louis Domingue and Anti Ranta. Whatever. <laughs> no, I, I'm you can only beat whoever's in front of you. They earn their spot. That's, that's that fine. I won't hear. It's a but weird person fine. to talk about not facing real goaltending. <laughs> 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 thank you. Thank you. Hey, we beat Vasilevsky in the oh, final. You can only so beat who's in front of you. We beat Vasilevsky. Go ahead. Uh, well, doesn't like their move kind of indicate uh, indicate that they felt they were a little fraudulent? Like again, they're try they're trying to. I love the word fraudulent and how yeah. the rate at which it's being absolutely <laughs> tossed around this room. We're only really in it. association with one team. <laughs> it's so only one team. Yeah. Yeah. Who's, the, who's the other team? Panthers. Yeah. Uh, ah, the frauds. Fraudulent Panthers. <laughs> uh, might, might add Edmonton in there. We'll no, no, they're no, not. No, no, no. Enough Edmonton, of that. Edmonton's a good team. <laughs> Thank, but, yes, there you go. Um, the so the, but, uh, again. Because I think they're trying to address a need, which is that like they don't have good five on five players, and that's probably one of the most important parts of hockey. And the reason I say it is because they don't not I think, have good. They don't have enough. Not, not, not. Yes. Well, yeah. Well, I just mean they're one of the bottom ten teams yes. in five on five hockey for most metrics. Just making sure because you had an extreme. There. You said none. So that's yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, but and then so the thing that I would ask them Matt too is out. that like because the again I, I I probably explained this so many times, but I just mean that like all I'm basing this off of is watching hockey. And when I watch the Rangers, I always feel like they're getting caved in, and then and then they score a sick goal, and I'm like, oh. But like that, I'm, I'm, it's not like I'm saying. Can like, you at least just take away the fraud part to make us no, and the Rangers for uh, the fans happy in there? Definitely, no? definitely not. And then so, and because the thing I'm what? saying is, I I like watching it and it's exciting and I and you can win like that, but like is it give that's fraud? It <laughs> doesn't make you a fraud. Whatever. What do you think, by the way, Julia? Because you, I feel like you haven't weighed in on that. That doesn't make you a fraud, does it? Like if you know what you are, but. I don't know. I feel I, I don't know if the Leafs have a <laughs> it's hilarious because the Leafs are reverse this. They're okay. like play outscore all of your issues that might be behind you defensively. So like I, I guess we can call the Leafs frauds too if we're gonna put that under That's the That's why I think right? Rangers fans hate this guy Wait, as well. Because right? of what you just said. Why are the Leafs frauds? No, they're not frauds. She's saying it's the it, reverse it, problem. You well, know no, what I mean? No, I, no. I, hey, I'll be the first to admit the Leafs are absolutely frauds. Not for the same reason as the Rangers, but because... You were so close to getting rid of that word. <laughs> because they're they're a great team, and then they just fail every single time. Right. Yeah. And, and like, that's Isn't that the ultimate it's a fraudulent? Of, right. Yeah, it's a different type of fraudulent, okay. but they're, they are also frauds. If, if any Rangers fans out there, I feel my team is just as fraudulent as yours okay. maybe more we went into this conversation trying to talk about brent burns and somehow came wow. out this end wow. That's uh, we for wow. brent burns what do you think that canes move they didn't have to give up much they basically just replaced tony d and got a better version of him that loves to shoot the puck from the point and they'll love him there yeah that's all we had okay i just like I, it's just like a very okay He's, move like you said God. you said they didn't have to give him up much wait, but like wait, wait. wait this better be good <laughs> the rumored offer for goudreau from columbus was seven years 12 million <gasps> aab oh who did wait, who 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 reported this can we yeah whatever who is it 
Yeah. Yeah. Frank. Frank Cervalli reported that. <laughs> that <laughs> no, I want to confirm we can use it. because fine. It's, good. Yeah. 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 Information flows. 12 um, mil. That's a ton. That's called um, That's incredible. Money. Wow. Is that Jesse? <laughs> that deal? That's actually, it would actually be sick. Imagine Johnny, Johnny Gaudreau playing with Patrick Laine. That would be a hell of a combo. Wow. Um, right? That would be only, is it half a million less, or am I getting that wrong, at the cap hit, or a, milli, or a million full less than, than the McDavid? Half a million. Half, half a million, yeah. Yeah, I mean, wow. wow. I don't Good know. for them. Swing wow. for it. Yes, we love that move. If Columbus, <laughs> I'll be happy for them if they get it. I still don't think... Uh, what are they, okay, Devil's Outsider, Corn. Yeah. <laughs> but he said with the Flames thing, like he had yeah. ten million dollars and on the, the extra year, the the eight years on the table because it, only they they were the only team that could what? No, no, go ahead, finish. That your could head. offer him that. Or is it and really? he said up and down, it's not about money, it's about going closer to home. That's it's the only thing. Family is really, really going to test it's that. About yeah, about yeah, family. yeah, you're right. Anyway. But devil's outside, <laughs> Corn. <Gordon laughs> what, what do you even think is on the table? Like they how, can't offer twelve. Like that'll change the market so much. Columbus literally has, I mean, they're going to have to make a trade, obviously, because they have, they, have? they have 12 million, 12.9, and line A is still an RFA. I, I, took, so. I took applied math up until grade 10 and ditched it, but you're almost saying uh, goodbye to $20 million, probably, right? If you sign with the Devils, and if that's a real offer from, from the Blue Jacks, almost $20 million. I'm going to say almost, because I can't do math. <laughs> Wait, what? You, total value. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. I mean, you'd probably be looking closer to like 14 mil, but the apply math. <laughs> yeah, they, they got a. The, I tried to apply myself. Because I'd assume the Devils are probably mm. offering around 10 mil. Like that's like, <laughs> Devils outside. Why did the oh Blue Jackets sign Good Branson? <laughs> and they wanted to make this deal. They just gave this guy four million oh, per. That why? does make that way for funnier. the next four oh. years. Good Branson, somewhere there, he's smiling, being like, mm, "Let's forget about this for a second, guys. Let's, I'm, let, I'm, let's let that first check cash and forget about this." I genuinely don't know how they would make it work. Like, it would have they, to, if they can, oh, if they can to. move on Voracek and Nightfish, Nightfish, maybe. Like, but then it's like. <laughs> Your team but is that guy. But then look at guy. the guy. Like, these guys, I mean, Texier and Boone Jenner have to come off of LTIR, and that's – or IR, I guess, in this case, and that's, I, like, another oh, – I love that for them, though, because it's not going to really oh. make you, like, a, a contender or anything like that, but it definitely gets butts in the seats, and, like, you have a star player. And that really – if you're a market like that, you care mostly I, about being, yeah. like – you can make the playoffs almost every year – with a solid team, and that's fine, and you have a star player. They kind of had a solid playoff. season yeah, yeah, yeah. last year, too. I was going to say, I think they were a bit of an underrated team. because yeah. yeah. one. Like, I just meant sorry as a contender, just to say. Oh, I'm not saying sure. they, if they made that signing, they'd be a great team. They've, they've made some team. great moves in terms of, like, because Boquist was, I think, a great trade with the, the Seth Jones thing. Where, yeah. like, he might yep. genuinely just be better than Seth Jones right now. It's pretty nasty. And then, and then, yeah, obviously, you add in guys like Good Brands. <laughs> Patrick Line is a star player, guys, isn't he? Is that what you were going to say? I could see yeah, kind of yeah, that. Well, yeah. And then they got Kent Johnson, too. Oh. And then the, the guy they drafted this year, too. Or the two guys they drafted this year. Yeah, Matejok is Matejok's supposed to be really Legit. good. But I, really I, I don't good. think he'll play for a while. Though. No, no. But, like, just going forward, like, their their prospect pool is cool. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they're, they're an interesting team. Like, I, I definitely – um, was more negative than I needed to be earlier, and th I think they have some fun players. No way, that should that be that will will be on your tombstone. <laughs> I was definitely way more negative than I needed to be earlier. Well, no, because I was just so I was just riding high on the on the Devils, you know, and it was it wasn't as much Makes about sense. Columbus as I was like, get this out of here, Devils are locked. In. The chat. This guy's about to watch there. fifteen the Devils chat agrees. games next year. Fifty-one percent think think what is going to the Devils. 51 is such Sorry, a tiny margin. It's hilarious. Really? Yeah. yeah. Um, people are, you know, I've seen it consistently in here. Guys, this is like, a, we're like an hour deep into this. Why are we not talking about the Red Wings? Because we actually spent a lot of time on that earlier. But we can talk about them one more time. And I'm going to bring that up in a, a bit more of a fun way. Um, the Devils. Stevie Y and the plan. You believing in this plan so far? You liking what they're doing? Is the plan going well? With the Iser plan. The Iser plan. With the moves they've made today. Because they made a lot. They, they have done some moves. And they were like a sneaky, ooh, can get in the playoff last year. Like, is it done enough? Like, do they have to make the playoffs next year? Are they going to do it? I don't I, I think like so. the moves that they made. Yeah, they might not make it. I mean. I love the moves. I don't think next year. Just as a result of that division. Like, 
Tampa's making the playoffs. Florida's making the is Fl- Florida's making the playoffs, yeah. right? Okay. Florida's making the playoffs. So. The Leafs are making the playoffs. And Ottawa's going to steal some games from you. I don't I don't yeah. love the Sherratt how, deal. How did the Atlantic get better? <laughs> the, it was so good already. Yeah, like yeah, it's no. genuinely probably better now. It's, like, is it, it is the best bad. division? In Although hockey? to be fair, the, the Bruins are going to take a step yes. back. The Bruins are going to take in two teams are taking half for a part of the season. Yeah. But then if they make the playoffs, they're yeah. still a really good team. And you just said the Panthers took a bit of a step back. So two teams are making a little bit of a step back, and yeah, two like teams are lower back, going step a step forward. back from like. Panthers were like the best team in the NHL. Now they're going to be what the fourth. How about fifth? if Goudreau ends up at the Devils? You you don't have faith in the Metro being like the strongest division, especially with the moves that the Caps are making. No. What do you? Sorry. If if, if just Caps, to clarify, what so, did you mean? If. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry. Apologies to Devils outsider Corn McCallum. But no, if uh, Kadri signs with the Capitals, uh, and on top of that, we. What did I just mention again? It was Goudreau. Uh, Goudreau thank you, Goudreau to the Devils. Nah. Is the Metro not the strongest division? I would say no. So. And why? I want more. I'm kind of. I don't know. I could get behind that because I think the Islanders will bounce back, and then so that's seven good teams in that division. I think there's probably seven good teams in the <laughs> Atlantic. Uh. Well. Well, I mean, Columbus, you're saying, is the set? Like, I know we're saying they're underrated. Go ahead. So speak like, it out loud. Wait, Talk so, your math wait, out. Which which one of the Sabres and Canadians are you saying is good? Sabres. Sabres, of course. You're saying they're good. <laughs> yeah. I'd say, nah. I mean, they finished fourth mm. in the division last year. Okay. They did not I, I'm gonna, fourth in the division. They did not. Fifth in the division. Yeah. Fifth uh, in the division. Just My step, math is off. Step in as a die easy Sabres fan, like... The future looks good. They'll yeah. they'll challenge the some teams, yeah. and they have this one of, if not the strongest prospect pool. But I don't think next year is like a. I don't think much. it's no, no but I have some competitive games and, and let's watch Owen Power thrive. That that's yeah, pretty much. Still I agree with that. I would say this is the funnest time to be a fan of a team. Is and Jack what, where the Sabers are right now is that you just yeah. get to enjoy and You're think so about right. all the potential, and like you don't have to worry about the pressure of like, oh, are we gonna make the playoffs or yeah. whatever. Remember how fun it was in like twenty six seventeen when. The, Caps here? Yes. Yeah. When they played the Caps, I was like, like oh, they, they won a game. Make it. They made the playoffs. And there yeah. was like so much. Took it to um, six and we were all buzzing hope. about yeah. it. Yeah. So I think even if the Devils get Goudreau, I'm not convinced they're a good team still. Interesting. Disagree. Because <laughs> they got Goudreau. <laughs> they got Goudreau. <laughs> and, uh, can we get a, can we get a, was it a, a little score, score bug there for it? Like how many more wins? Go win? ahead. Yeah. Like five more wins? Six more wins? Johnny Goudreau? Well, yeah. I think they're just going to get more in general from the team that they have because I think Jack Hughes will take a, another step forward. <laughs> I agree with that. I think. Uh, Weird but, way of putting it, by the way, to Tyler Bergeron is Dark Horse is the team you're looking for. Who is the Dark Horse of the Metro? The Devils. <laughs> <laughs> Stop this it. This is a Devils if they, podcast. If they get what Goudreau, no, happened? if they get Goudreau, then yeah, like because, yeah. just because of the offensive talent, right? No, but I think the real Dark Horse would be the Islanders. Really? Yeah. And not, not that did. I'm saying that, like, I think they're going to. Because people are sleeping if, on them. If the point. devil signed Goudreau, like, make no mistake about it, people will be excited okay. about them. People will hype I feel them. Like, I feel like we've hyped them up That I was just going to say that. They've it feels like the five years year. of hyping up the devils and then them blowing. But, Maybe that's, four but years? that's exactly why you won't be a dark horse. Because like, there's still hype. Have we, have we really hyped them up? I you, have. you guys I hyped have. them up last year. When I hyped them I hyped up hyped last them year. I was re- I was like, okay, this is the year, actually. And maybe even the year before that, I was like, okay, this is maybe going to be a Devils team that takes a step here. No but then, steps. But then Jack Jack Hughes got hurt. Right, 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 right. Um, like, like they, they had some issues. Obviously, yeah. their goaltending kind of <laughs> fell apart. Um, with, still with, a question this year. Yeah, they still need to fill that. Yeah, because I really, thought that they, they were going to add another guy. Oh, right. Yeah, but like, he no, I know. That good either. So like, no. that, that definitely is still a question mark. And Defense is questionable. I believe in in Mac Blackwood. <laughs> but Bay. that's that's <laughs> also why I'm saying though Islanders though is right because yeah. like, they have such good goaltending. That, They're like, trying to shop Varlamov too. No, wasn't yeah, that reported? Sorokin's because yeah. Sorokin's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and they need money for Goudreau. <laughs> it's too late. Okay, Columbus has all the money. I love this. That's crazy. Devils on TSN is one of the comments. Wow. wow. Let's get it. I don't even think we can legally do that. <laughs> I don't think that's allowed, but I mean. Yeah, no. I think we can only have Canadian teams. Yeah. Can TSN. you imagine it was blackout to the Ontario region? <laughs> <laughs> All the regional games you couldn't watch in New Jersey? Yeah. They got to, like, if, hey, I, I'm into it. Devils on TSN. Are you going to get a Jersey jersey? Someone just asked. Wow. Should I? 
Yeah. They got nice jerseys. He was Jersey Jersey. Davos? I mean, yeah, if you're, you if you guys, know, Jersey Jersey. No, I know, Jersey yeah. Jersey. <laughs> oh, yeah. But to be yeah, fair, though, guys, grow. like, you know, if you're some Leafs fans, you can't be wearing that. That's still a rival. I don't care. We, like, They're not a rival. When, when we were kids, they yeah. smacked us. Yeah. He's right. Yeah. They smacked You're us. They stole anymore. Doug Gilmore and had oh. better results with him. The I'm yeah. a big boy now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I actually don't know if they had better results with him, by the way. I don't think he ever won a cup. I take that back. Who? Dougie Gilmore. When he went to the, the Devils afterwards. I don't think they actually had better. Either no, way, he, he, he won, left. He won a cup with Calgary. But the, but not with the Devils, I mean. No. Anyways. Either way, that was definitely. Same as the Sabres being like, that's gone now, but like they're definitely... <laughs> Go look at their subreddit, by the way. The downvote button is the Leafs emblem. But really, that is so funny. <laughs> very funny. That's, That's pretty wild. So, I didn't know the hatred yeah. ran that deep. Yeah, I guess like sense. any of the teams that have their homes invaded are don't like Leafs fans. <laughs> right. So, like you know, well, no, honestly, because like I, I went to school in Ottawa and like. Well, they, actually, Sens fans they had or? less of that problem, by the way, when they were good, because like they had like good pull and they have a great audience. For but right now, you're right; they get rated now. Well, no, but no, it always happens because the thing in Ottawa that people would always say is they'd go, "Yeah," because the, they would actually love it, but then hate on them when they were there because they'd love it because they'd be like, "Yeah, when all the Leafs fans come to town, I don't care about the game that much, and I'll sell my <clears> tickets <throat> for like triple the yeah. price." And and so I feel like that's what happened. Hey, speaking of the tickets, because we'll we'll all never get this segue again. Savers tickets, come on. Uh, they have a pack that they're advertising called the Let It Ride Pack. Wow. And if you buy three uh, tickets and they win all three games, you can get a fourth game for free. Oh, oh my gosh! Awesome. You're pretty much really just cool. picking to see where they Imagine get the Imagine not putting Let down a ride. mortgage payment to go to your favorite team's <laughs> game. Wow. Could never that's be cool though. When you want your team to have that, that'd be I have, incredible. I have uh, some some stuff that's gonna upset Flyers fans. Chuck Fletcher said they are done with the free agency market. Hilarious. And they were no, never, so they're done hilarious. with the playoffs. <laughs> they apparently were never really in on Goudreau. So that's the that, that's the we have Goudreau at home response already. Oh, like man, Who, Flyers fans. I guess that's tough. Is that Cam Atkinson. I like Cam Atkinson, but he's he's not Johnny Goudreau. No. I mean, he has scored 40 goals, though. That was crazy. Yeah. That was nuts. Haley Salvian, like, wrote something. She was talking about the Flames, but she had a line in her story that stuck with me, and it was something along the lines that clearly didn't stick with me very well. It was something the, along the lines of the middle ground in the NHL is, like, kind of death. Like, being subpar for such a long Horrible. time yeah. is just, like, the worst thing you could do. So like you got to be all you in need or a prospect. all like, out. Like, yeah. think of what other teams we got there. Like... The I'd... Sharks are going through that right now, yeah. probably, where their prospect pool isn't really strong. The Ducks are on the upswing. Yep. Um, who know. is, yeah, in your mind, who is the most middle? It probably is the Flyers, actually. Probably is so the Flyers. It really Flyers. is, because they re they should not be that bad. Like, the, I, I still go back to the Giroud trade and just how they handled it, and it's like, that's the package you got last year. Mm -hmm. Like that was supposed to be maybe the thing that helped yeah, you reset he your franchise. Yeah, but he kind of shot them in the front. No, no, no he screwed them completely. Yeah. Not screwed them, but like, <laughs> Scott, in, a, in a way, I was he, so harsh, and then you walked him back. He had their 100%. hands. He had their hands tied for sure. But like, totally. that was one of the things that you needed to help Luka? reset your franchise. Is he gonna go to the Avs? No, he didn't want to go to the Avs. We'll say this. Yeah, but like, wasn't that wasn't there a deal a in place? Yeah, I think they offered something. Yeah, they didn't want to go. We'll say this. If they prove themselves to be not that great, I mean, you still have some pieces to, to trade around. Like, they do have some players that other teams yeah. would most certainly love. They don't have enough to be a playoff team themselves, but they got interesting pieces they could make some deals off of to Maybe. get a prospect. Whether or not they do that, because Philadelphia, are you allowed to be a bad team there other than the Phillies? I mean, they have been for the last mm -hmm. No, but, like, years. A, like, allowed to. As in, like, man, they hate their team. And, yeah. like, it's not... What are they going to do? They're going to go there with fire on sticks and how many battery packs? Fire on sticks. <laughs> as you were saying Battery this, packs. As you were saying this, Luca pulled up their... their uh, negative cap, cap space. they're over the cap. Like, <laughs> like what? What's going on? How did it get like this? So bad, well, man. Because they weren't allowed to eat pizza. Okay, but uh, just, just to like lay off of Flyers fans for a second. Nah. Um, Who else could we make fun of in this moment? Well, the team that still to me is like... I personally feel has almost no chance to win the cup, but the Sabres could make the playoffs and is probably just out of it. The Predators. So you, you're saying yeah. the, the middle ground part. Yeah. I think, I think they're um, like, they, they would rival cause they're, cause the flyers, the, the thing about the flyers is they could genuinely just be a horrible team because they've made such bad acquisitions. Um, 
Predators have like. They're also, good because they pieces. haven't drafted particularly well no. either. They've got a little Minus unlucky. Minus Carter, Carter Hart, but like. Yeah. Well, they've got a little unlucky, like the Nolan Patrick thing. And like yes. He had yes. health issues. Yeah. And like that's, that's a tough no, break. Totally. Like that was your second overall pick. And like, mm-hmm. imagine being able to have that. That, that would have made a huge difference. But then they basically, what, gave him to Vegas for nothing, really. And then like, yeah, yeah they, they've been a little unlucky. So I don't want to like purely say it's really like they've just made a couple like meme easy moves of like the wrist alignment thing that like because like everybody online is like he's not good and then they trade for him and they sign him this crazy long extension yeah. and it's he like, wasn't good yeah and then and then he just does these things that are like easily memeable in games it was like yeah. one of his first games last year where he was like spinning around and just like yeah it's good. just didn't uh, he run into the boards by himself one time? Like he went like the wrong clip. way in. Like am I? I don't know if I'm. I, I think that was with Buffalo. Yeah, should, with, yeah. Not, exactly. Not yeah. with Philly. He they, ran into the boards. Yeah, it's a hilarious club. I do that yeah. every game. <laughs> play, so. They that's do the Brad stop. Burns with him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Easiest <Forward>. way. <laughs> and by you, I mean like that's how you start hockey. Oh, like, yeah. Me too. Yeah. I I've always thought that the reverse actually. I've always thought like they should put more. I think I was talking to you about this. See that I thought they should put more uh, wingers, like skillful little wingers. On at D? D. Yeah, because, like, like, again, like, you got a guy like Nick this... Tan or, like, Tyler Ennis or someone, like... The, the legend? Yeah, the greatest ever do it. Uh, wow. He just, like, I don't know. Could they not, like, be, like, a good... <laughs> this is going to sound He's dumb. So... Oh, Tyler Ennis is about, so bro. small. No, That's I know, I know, one, I know. But I just mean, like, because there is this, like, kind of different job that some defensemen are doing and being able to yep. quarterback play and, like, if you compare them with the right people, can you... Because it actually is I mean, way more common in other sports. Like when you think about soccer, or you think about the field football. is so much bigger though, yeah. and and the problem really is like you, there's only five of you, and you really have to defend. And if you want to make the soccer comparison, the reason that works is because then they have three center backs usually at the back when they're playing something like that, meaning there's more coverage for someone to make up for their deficiencies, and there's just not enough positions on the ice. There's five people. Which, and if one of your defenders is not that good at defending, you will get exposed. But that's why you get Tyler Ennis paired with Victor Hedman. <laughs> you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna, you, they would have three-beated if they'd done that, you know? Yeah. That yeah. was their biggest mistake. <laughs> you cracked the code. It, t- Tyler Ennis is not yeah. playing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Way to go. Way to go, buddy. Yeah, okay. Nashville does seem like that team, though, where it's just like... Because, well, yeah. Last year was best case scenario. Yeah, because, right? yeah, like, Duchesne had, like, an unreal year. I, and I don't like, want to be rude. Roman Yossi, historic season. Soros historic. was Vesna worthy like... I don't want to be rude here, but I'm going to be rude here for a moment. Go ahead. One of the more disappointing parts of Forsberg signing with them was, you know, everyone did kind of want to see him go somewhere where mm-hmm. you're probably going to watch him more into a team where he's, you know, going to have some players to play with where he's going to be even more electric to watch. Where were you hoping that he was going to end up? And because I know all of you, when you saw he re-signed with the Preds, right? Like, Good for you, but like, how much did he re-sign for again? It's a fair Eight, price. Five. five. Wow. The I would say the big thing. So, <laughs> I thought he would have been a great fit with the New Jersey Devils. <laughs> you have to Devils be joking. Devils outsider. I'm not. They need a scorer. And, like, he, he actually would have been great. And imagine pairing him with, like, Jack Hughes. I bet he scores 50. Yeah. You're going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he would have been great there. I thought he would, like, again. Detroit. Uh, Detroit was what I was thinking as well. Like, if I'm... you're looking for a building block, that's, that's a guy. Oh, so my other thing is like, okay, do you want to go back to Detroit? Because everybody's so high on all their moves. Oh no, like, I'm not like, they, like I, I like the Kubelik one a bit, but like, but whoa, 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 we had some fire in there. You sounded like you were a little pissed at what, what, at how much. Not like uh, the only contracts that they have signed through 2024, 25 are Andrew Kopp, Ben Sherratt, hey, and Luca. Let Billy him Huso and Robbie Fat. Luca, let him run into the wall here. You no. sound a little pissed. Why just uh, mean I like is is the Andrew Kopp deal? No, like I, a, he sounded pissed. Is I really the like Andrew Kopp like deal. Great deal. Why? I just thought Andrew Kopp was like I never noticed Andrew Kopp when he was in Winnipeg. He's, he's a solid player, and, and I, you know, he that's, he that's what I mean. Like, and he was, but yeah. I realized he was worth the hype this postseason. Yeah. like he did. I I felt badly for never really noticing him until this postseason. He's also that that's his home team. That's I think which partially yeah. why people are very excited about big Larkin fan. Yeah, that's from their Detroit. buddies. That's oh, that's cool. And yeah. I, I do really like a lot of Detroit's players. Like I think they're a fun team. I love Yakov. Mm, go back so to the negativity for a moment though, because you were. Because my thing is like, how much better? Exactly did they get? the reason you just said is that like, oh, he had a great postseason, so we signed him to a really big deal, and and like 
I just mean, isn't that the – when we're talking about GMs making big mistakes on this day, that's probably one of the biggest reasons they make mistakes is that a guy had a good postseason or You're a so good right. end of the season. Yeah. And, like, and then they sign him to a five-year, $5.6 million deal when you got to sign all your players in the next year. And I feel like I'm committing blasphemy by – questioning stevie why right now because you are because he is absolutely one of the best gms in the business and I, I but again like everybody's open to criticism in some way and like and i don't know i'm not saying like it's a terrible deal it's just i don't get why everybody's like wow what a day by detroit like they got yeah. it's a fun Bob. day probably like, is why more than anything i guess so my biggest question and this was kind of a question i had for a lot of teams that were going to look at top six guys because they got two they got cop they got David Perron and then maybe Kubalik somehow sneaks into the top six, but more of a top nine guy. Like they've got a lot of young forwards and who does this block from maybe playing more minutes? That that's what always concerns me with. It's concern for the team. two of you, because obviously you care a lot about the Red Wings future. Both of you. We yeah, do. Honestly, we absolutely yeah. do yeah, because we want to see them succeed. It's your team. I do. It's your team. Yeah. Cause they have so many fun players and like for them to just be like a, a they, mid tier They team. love the Red Wings. I didn't even go into this. They signed Ben Chirot for so much money. Yeah, that, that's ahead. the one move. That that like, what was that? That's more, more than, than Good Branson. Yeah. More than Good Branson, more than Manson. What is that? Like, why? Oh, he cross checks people? Like, congrats. <laughs> what is. Why? Like, again, okay, sorry. Now I'm, now I'm going even. I'm going harder on this. Like, that's him not a good too. day. Thank you. Should, like, that's not a good day of, like, they are nowhere yeah. near my winners of the day. <laughs> they are. If I was making a tier list, they're in C. Wow. We could do a tier list. Um, well, we won't. But you know, you bring up a, a good point here. And uh, here, let, let, let's let's get the trolley back on the tracks here a little bit. Whew, shake ourselves off. We've been doing this for almost two hours now, guys. Uh, what was that? What? What is the, what Jonathan? Is Great, thank you. We're getting ourselves back on the track. Oh. Jonathan Gaudreau. <laughs> I I think, in my it's opinion, actually, it's actually John Gaudreau, as Brad Living called him a bunch last night. That's about him. Yeah. You're not allowed to call, call him John Gaudreau. Is that old name? Is it? that his trouble name? Yeah. Like yeah, when yeah. your mom. Yeah. John. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, his all trouble the quotes name. were like. John was like, this was heartbreaking. All right, well, let's get the trolley back in the tracks. Thanks there, pal. John Hockey. <laughs> John, I hate that. That's such a bad name. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a school. But uh, who did win the day, guys? Like, who, like, now that you've really you know, taken it in, who did win the day? My answer is the same. It's I, remaining the same. Changed. It yeah. has not changed. And who was your answer again? Because this is a oh, yeah. two-hour stream. Might be different people. It is your Ottawa Senators. Uh, Ottawa Just, alum. Yeah. Hey, I... Where'd you go again? Carlton? I went to Carlton. <laughs> no, that was a thing until Mark Masters <laughs> did it to me. Never. Uh, you never went to a single game, huh? 67s. I, yeah, I went to 67s games, and I, I did go. I was telling Julia, I went to one time Carlton, the Swedish junior team, just like came really? and played the Carlton hockey team. And like Matthias Tedenby was there and stuff. It was crazy. But the, Anyways, well, they won the day. The Senators... Senators had an excellent day. Excellent when, day. when you're talking about like teams that have really swung for the fences and I think nailed pretty much everything they've done, you're looking at the Ottawa yeah. Senators. And could you imagine? I would be so optimistic if I was a fan of that team purely based on the fact that they changed ownership. And then since then... I was just going to say shout out to two absolute queens. Yeah. Like shout out to two queens, man. I know. Like... like, <laughs> like he Dorian when he started his press conference today started by saying first I want to start by thanking Anna and Olivia for letting me do all of this the past couple of days incredible like I, I, exa well exactly yeah. that and like because again um, I just think there was there was such a long time where like like just the ownership of the Sens was kind of looming over them and like the way that a lot of the star players left and they didn't pay them, whether it be like Carlson, Mark Stone, and like all these different players. There was a lot of negativity there. There was, oh, they're not going to move downtown. And like New now, yeah. And now everything is different. They're making all these incredible moves. Like, like people were kind of laughing at like, oh, like Giroux's not going to go to the Sens and then they trade for Dabrinkit. And then it's like, it's kind of making sense that like they actually are a really good, exciting young team. He, as he like, lives there in the summers and stuff like that so like it close to flips. i don't believe he lives there uh yeah i don't know i, I just yeah. like even there was like people that he would train with in ottawa when i was yeah. there and, and like the um it was just 
it's it's all just coming together. Yeah, I they're mean, getting a new shout building. Out. Like yeah. I heard that they revamped even like their social media team and stuff has more kind of freewheeling power to have a little bit more fun. Just are, are they in the chat? So optimistic. <laughs> I no, so. I wish they no, were. Shout out um, to you guys if you are. Someone if if they have the ability, I guess we have some people on our team. They got to take the Dorian clip of him throwing the drink, putting out a fire. Oh, I forgot about <laughs> that. This off season, That's boom, a good one. no flame. What a turnaround. Yeah. I love that. For it's a great turnaround. Fans, honestly, yeah. the absolute sickos out there are hyped. Okay. So, uh, can I, can I give a remember? different team? They have like no. you, you've changed your answer. Can you first state who you were initially impressed with? We know it was the no, Red no. Wings, but who have you changed to? I No, the Red Wings aren't it. I mean, Ottawa for <laughs> okay. sure, but I just wanted to give my team some love here because. Because there's not enough of that. No, time. there no. isn't. Oh, we, thank Christ for that. The Colorado Avalanche were able to bring every key component of their cup run other than Kadri back, and they have enough money to uh, sign pa- pa- a pa- center pa- if pa- they want. So I yeah. think that deserves some praise because they had a lot of questions yeah. going you, into the offseason of what they were going to do, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. they answered all those questions mm-hmm. with flying colors. We're, we're all real happy for they you, They basically got their top six locked up for the next four to five years, and it's an amazing top six. So. More, more time than you spent on the Sabres goaltending. Uh, who are you? You changed your answer. No, I just that. wanted to shout out the Avs, but the, the Senators for sure. Okay. Uh, let's get to the reverse of that so we can stop talking about the Avalanche because I don't care how they got better. They already won. Let's see some new winners here. Funny enough, we never, oh, we yeah. never, we never really That's got rich. like uh, we never got our own bar down parade for Luca because like, no. we, we haven't really done a we video. Have, we Whoa, shout about out that. that. Look at that. Luca just <laughs> got the follow from Frank. Oh, did I? Yeah, maybe maybe you saw the show. No, no, that's not. Um, I have a no. <laughs> I have a list set oh, up damn. for all the uh, all the insiders. Did not so no. yeah, did okay. not get no. the follow okay. from Frank. Pierre LeBron randomly followed me one day. I'm sure he regrets it. <laughs> Really? Oh yeah, no. I, don't t- I don't tweet about anything. Yeah, but that's, I, except there's, there's for no how regret. Jesse looks in pictures. Yeah, that's, but then then there's no regret, right? Because it's not true. like you're putting out bad stuff. You're just not doing anything. Pierre that's LeBron true. has a really calming voice. He does. <laughs> Seems like a very ASMR? nice guy. He's the best. No. Uh, Imagine like ASMR trade breakers. That's essentially oh, what he was doing on Overdrive weird. last Andrew night. Like it was so Cobb. calming listening to him. Just uh, I just want to let you guys know. David that Lopez says the Leafs just signed. He's got a steamroll deal. Sky, yes. uh, Thanks Sky. for Steam. <laughs> for that. That's a big train. <laughs> say, what did you Ray? say? Ray? Yeah. <laughs> David Wait, Lopez. Anyway, anyway let's, let's, let's just sign Ray yeah, Mysterio. Luca, do years, me a favor. Shut up. That's, that's huge. Isn't Ray Mysterio kind of in trouble? Oh, Ray Mysterio oh, may have fun. done something to a guy that he can't take back. <laughs> Anyways. So <laughs> <laughs> that was so ominous. Um, okay, wait, wait. Let me do some. Uh, no, no. I want to do Trade Breakers ASMR. Do it, do you it, have it. five seconds. No, at least 15. 10. Oh. I just want to let you know that it's been uh, absolutely uh, locked in for. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, uh, Johnny Gaudreau is uh, locked in with the New Jersey Devils. Devils insider. Yeah. Yeah. Devils, De- outsider. Devil's outsider. Devil's outsider. I actually have no sources. My sources are trust me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's go to the reverse of that. <laughs> and then now with the, it's really, I really didn't want to make one of the flyers again, but here we are. <laughs> here we are. Yeah, they we had it at, well, they, they just had to come out and go, we're, we're done. done. <laughs> Back it up. But who had an absolutely crap tastic day? <laughs> and we'll continue to have I mean, a crap tastic Probably the Is flyers. The flyers? Or Florida, maybe? Nah. Yeah, losing Marchman, losing Drew. Like, they've definitely taken a step back. Yeah, they have, but like a nobody had a one. horrible day except for that. I was just trying to take some attention off what a brutal day the Flyers had. <laughs> <laughs> the Flames had a pretty rough. Oh, day you know too. that's true. Yeah. Hey, they had a pretty rough. Yo, no, you, no, you guys are right. Talk about that for another second. Well, what if like, like, for this is might be fresh from the beginning? We have not talked that much about the Flames. Like, you should be pretty sad because, as you said, like the best thing course. you get out of this window is that you lose to your sworn enemies and they haven't signed anyone to replace Gaudreau yet like they haven't filled that void and I how mean, do you replace I don't that? think they're you gonna can't, fill it one but like, one. yeah you're not maybe add a top six guy like do so they haven't they haven't done anything like they haven't made any moves what but if he, Matthew Kachuk is just like hey I don't want to play here anymore I like what Tree Living said in his press conference, though. Like, he said that the worst thing that we can do today is make a knee-jerk I agree. reactionary move I that agree. will end up, like, paying too much for for a player that... Was, I agree uh, with that. So, wait. You agree, but you wanted them to make moves, so what did you want them no, to do? No, I, I think they should... 
they should still make some kind of moves, whether it's getting taking a chance on a guy like a Dylan Strome. Like that, a, a low risk. What about, maybe how about a Ryan? Move. Yeah, how about yeah? What if you get both? Two strong. pack. That'd be kind of fun. Could be fun. Like they still have a really good team, especially if they sign their RFAs and bring them all back. Like you lose Gaudreau, obviously, but their pieces are pretty damn good. Daryl Sutter's a really good coach. Like. I'm not saying they're going to drop out of a playoff spot, but... Ryan Strom actually be a... I, mean, I get it. It's I like not, Dylan definitely not a like for life. Me too. But, I'm a big Dylan Strom I'm a big fan. Dylan guy. Yeah, I think he's a little underrated for sure. Yeah. yeah. And like, uh, it's, you think Dylan Strom yeah. or yeah. Ryan? Yeah. Okay. No, Dylan. You know, I think Ryan Strom's a little underrated. <laughs> See, somebody... A little underrated. Somebody, it's yeah. one of those Maybe, things where like... like he's, he's, you're right. He'd be great for... Like, he's great on the power play and stuff like that. Like, he's... He's good. He'll score. Okay. It's it's true. Like I, I rated well. A knee jerk move would have been bad for sure well. for the Flames. Yeah. But well. at the same time, you're just like, I don't know. If you're not doing anything, then it's like, right, and, what what what's your direction here? Like, like maybe trade wise. I, I like just maybe today is not the day. Now that Johnny Gaudreau is out, is Jesse in the chat? Somebody said Gaudreau to the Jets, one year, fifteen million. <laughs> God. That's that is something Jesse would say and absolutely propose. That, hockey needs more of that weird one year. Don't have to prove yourself. Here's just a lot of money. <laughs> I wish there was more like player option was. stuff where they could yeah. do like the, the like the things in the NBA where they're like, oh yeah, I signed a four year deal. I can opt out after two year months. one. This is right. insane and like yeah. and, and I just will choose to make more money. Um, also, the one thing I was gonna say about Dro, I think he's a great player. Are we like hyping him up? too much yes like i i I, so i didn't make this point but at some point i wanted to say that if columbus ends up paying him 12 million dollars eight seven years from now it's gonna like oh i shout out to john Tavares, god love him captain toronto but think about that contract and how much stop it okay (laughs) but you know what i mean year for goodrow and and it was a career year for kachuk as well and lynn even kadri at nine million like seven years from now you're gonna be like uh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's but people are talking about that for Cadre a lot, yes. right? Like people are saying like, "Whoa, this is one year and whatever." And like obviously, Goudreau has had several good years, but none like this. Wasn't the, like, this is his well, first he was he was point genuinely year, right? at one point during the season like a top five player almost in scoring. No, Cadre. not all around, but scoring. Yeah, Goudreau, yeah. I, yeah. I think he finished. He probably, finished like top three. Yeah, yeah. I, was I don't mean just in points. points. I, that has been as far as like yeah, no. being a right. top Goals. player. Right. Yeah, I think he finished um, with the most even strength points in the league too. Like he, yeah. he was unbelievable. I, st- I still think you you do have to factor in, which is, you know perhaps you guys have there. Like it really is still ticket draw for for giving in that money because like it'll be worth it. For you pay an extra couple million a year if your team still has like a good player. So, but like does does uh I don't know like again like a Columbus I feel like they get, they have good fans and stuff. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but you still have to be like competitive. They suck. I mean, it wouldn't be. <laughs> If they suck, I said. Is there a college in Columbus? <laughs> it sounded like you said they uh, suck. No, I said if. I don't know. Where's Ohio State? Is it Biden? Oh, okay. Ohio I feel like State. I see a lot yeah. of university students. Yeah, Ohio State's in like, Columbus. That's so dope. Imagine going to a game in university and not having to, like, not eat for a month. Yeah. Well, that's also <laughs> why I'm desperate to go to an ASU game. Like, yeah, like Columbus, Ohio. Arizona Those tickets, aren't they going to be expensive? Probably sure, not. But, like, let's check. For, for one trip, let's make it happen. Because... Also, well, not guys, expensive, but I, 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 sorry, I just mean expensive in in terms of like them hoping to get ASU students in. I saw someone say that it was going to start around 150 bucks to get into the building. Oh, well, let's see. Just not. Wait, what? Right? Okay, well, is that real? I think it's real. Well, there's up. only five thousand seats. Like, yeah, but like five thousand seats for something that's like not a great show. But, like, what do you mean? It's not a great show. Five hundred. Like you're watching like not a great team. Like there'd be five thousand seats. Like, no offense, but, like, if Pauly Shore had a show in Toronto, he's like, I got 5,000 seats. You know, I'd be like, whoa, it's selling out. Like, yeah. yeah, but, like, how much do you think 100-level Coyotes tickets cost right now? Thirty-four ninety-nine For glass? I don't know. Hits. I'm just kidding. Maybe. I know, I know. That was Let- man. <laughs> <laughs> that was man. <laughs> but, I, honestly, like, I would say if you wait a little on StubHub last second, you probably get those for, like, under 100 yeah. I have no idea. Have you guys but ever I, been to a Coyotes game? No. Nah, have you no, ever I'm been totally to a hot guessing. hockey game? Yeah. Weird. Like a, a hockey game in a hot place? Yes. Uh, Where? When I was in Tampa. No. Oh, see, I'd love to see a Tampa game or a Florida game. It's pretty It's pretty great, like, being oh. able to just wear shorts to a hockey yeah, game. Yeah, like, that's awesome. I just saw a Kings game, like, like a couple months ago. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. We didn't talk about, the, King, cool. we didn't talk about the Kings did. at all, by the way, what? guys. We did? <laughs> we, 
We we didn't talk with the anyone want to talk with the Kings? What did they even a do side today? conversation? Cool. <laughs> what did they even do today? Re up noted biter Brendan Lemieux, <laughs> noted nibbler. Uh, and, and they like I guess they resigned Kemp like the a couple days ago or whatever. Right. Fiala was the move. The fee, of course. Yeah, yeah. Fiala is the yeah. move. Which which I that's which, a great move. How much cap yeah. space do they have? I feel like not a lot because they've, they've got Kopitar and Doughty, right. you know, massive deals. Two mil. Kopitar box office, according to you guys. Also, wow. You do not group me no, into sorry, that. No, I yeah, absolutely right, got right. no, slagged yeah. off for, yeah. for like just I, people calling me trash. I know nothing because for what? I literally, Julia, in the this first is, podcast of the year. I'm so nervous. This yeah. guy, no, you don't worry. It's a good one. This guy says, he goes, so he's going around and he goes, who's box office in the league right now? He's like, and fun it, to watch is what box office It yeah. means like you would tell someone to watch the game of hockey yeah. if they've never watched hockey. They are because fun this guy's to watch. This <laughs> and, and Luca goes, Anze Kopitar in the <laughs> L.A. Kings. You could pick it. I was like, way. yeah, and I was like, that's the worst. That was <laughs> it. Like, it was, was weird. What even possessed you to say that, Luca? Because he was kind of Kopitar was going. Oh, off. his fundamentals are great, and it was like. <laughs> they, uh, <laughs> This, but the whole thing that's was, like straight yeah. up if someone was like oh what's your reason for watching basketball Steph Curry no 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 Kyrie Irving no 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 Tim Duncan right. <laughs> he was pretty box office <laughs> no he <laughs> wasn't you he was a winner standing box yes office. uh and then so He's basically and then everybody took that as a, apparently because everybody was like Kopitar is a you like, can tell this top. is weighing on him eh? I it was, weighed on me a I was too rattled. I didn't even get slag and I was like that's not a great answer because well, I was getting lit up in the comments for people being like are you saying Kopitar is not good and all I said was like he's not a top like 10 player in the league what, an, what an like, insult yeah I know like get off my back and then by the, get off my back I never <laughs> said he was top 10 I don't know what. That's said, what makes it weirder. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Whatever. So clearly he does. He's not a man of conviction, Luca. Here. Uh, I know just he's kidding. Guys, Wait, I, Emerson I'm, the nope. kid. Breaking news: Jesse Jets one year nine hundred thousand. Oh. Is there anything worth? Wait, no. Is that nine hundred million? No, point nine. Okay, million. enough of that. Uh, is there anything worthwhile in the chat? Does anyone have a you know discussion point that you want to bring up? Because I'm not looking at the chat right now. Well, Corwin just got signed by the Avs for seven years, ten point five mil. Welcome to wow. the Wow, pal. This is a Stanley Cup champion <laughs> wow. right here. Okay, I, I win. Retroactively? It's definitely yeah. a, a, a ring still. There's a reason we don't read comments from the chat, apparently. Uh, Come on, something real. What's a nice topic? Oh, Jesse got put on unconditional waivers yeah. for the purpose of oh, a buy. That's so tough. Whose call was that's that? So tough. Uh, that was by Jacob Rushlow. <laughs> I was making. I was. Oh, I just got dealt to the Leafs. Honestly, okay, guys. Guy's a great skater. Add some speed to the squad, especially on the back end. There, very Morgan Riley-ish. Maybe this, could that mean because the Leafs uh, acquired Luca? Do you think that means they're gonna move on from Riley? Well, now the Coyotes traded me for me for a piece of gum. So all right, guys. For real tough. though, but, off of it. Uh, people want us to talk about Seattle. Okay, yeah, go we ahead. Talk about, talk about Seattle. Our boy Shane Wright we is there. We love Shane Wright. We stand. We stand. We stand. I loved their draft. Their draft was really amazing. Because yeah. they they drafted our other guy, Jagger Furcus, who they got Ty Nelson too. Yeah, oh, our so other many guy. Hard eyes. Wow. Yeah. Just I mean, like he's he's North Bay, which like I always consider like the same as Thunder Bay. You're so dumb for that. Let me just <laughs> yeah, say that blatantly. So Let me just say that, that blatantly. When people are like, "Oh my God, that's like three hours north." I'm like, uh, no, well, it's not. Actually, wait. This is a real talking point, and it has to do with Thunder Bay. Someone just said the stalls, and I can't believe we haven't brought up the best two signings of a day: Eric Stahl on no, a PTO and Mark Stahl. All right, back to Seattle. Wait, to who? They also Florida. got oh. both of them in Florida. Don't back to Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> they also got Andre Burakovsky, which is a nice signing. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't love that stuff because I'm like. But what about Stop. Eric Stahl? <laughs> <laughs> they He's a scoring winger. PTOs. I just think like Seattle. You were already bad. Let your kids play and then be bad and maybe add another good pick. Is that bad for kids, though? Like, if Shane Wright goes to the NHL, like, wins, like, I would how many games did they win this year? But Is I, that a mean thing to I ask? You know matters. what? I like that as a game, by the way. We're going to do a little over-under based on moves. Don't worry. Okay. Just to get continue your topic. Saying, though, Go like, ahead. I would love to see Beneers and Shane Wright center the top two lines. Like, so I, would I. I don't really care. I just want to see them... Like getting bullied sometimes is so bad for guys. I don't know. It is, but <sighs> yeah, like I don't know. Could you see them? Like I, I, I have no idea if they would like send right back to junior or whatever. Obviously, it'd be nice for us to get a, a quick rip over to Kingston to watch him play if we want. But um, 
Like, I'm fine with whatever there. It's just, like, obviously they're not going to compete this year. So why are you, like, spending a bunch of money on people? And, like, especially for longer-term deals. Burkowski's a I good player. Like it, though. Like, he's a goal-scoring winger. And I guess, like, the one thing I always ignore, which, like, Z has been trying to bring up several times, <laughs> is that, like, they're a new franchise and they want fans. And, like, I get Very you important. Yeah, right. you shouldn't just For be sure. tanking right away. But you got to be like, competitive. Like, what? They seem they're, to have dedicated fans, into, nonetheless. Like, like, they'll just be... Some long contracts, yeah. though. Like, I feel like Seattle's got good sports fans. But the other thing I would say, though, is, like, what non-hockey fan in Seattle is hearing, like, from their friend being, like, the Kraken got Mirakovsky? Like, yeah. oh, my God. Right. Like, yeah. The, no, that's not the Shane. The, the the Shane Wright one is this probably the one that's gonna yeah, yeah totally sure. Into it. That's yeah. the one that's gonna get people excited. Best player in the draft. Every franchise record he's gonna hold. Like it's gonna be. That's so the dope coolest thing. Yeah. yeah, it'll be. It's and it's a tough sports city because like again like they they do have two teams that do very well and like the Seahawks like if you have a winner and I, I know I get it maybe this chat doesn't like the MLS that much but like they care a lot about that team and that team's genuinely right now like one of the greatest of all time in that league. So like they like winners. Wow. You cannot go there and lose and expect to, to have a crowd. So this unless guy, you're the Seahawks. Guy, I was just, I was gonna say these this guy was like, yeah, they got they love winners here and just took a right just away from the Mariners. So <laughs> one of the saddest franchises yeah. of all time. Yeah. Well because they've had some exciting they've had exciting teams, just haven't won. The Seahawks but they've got had a lot of Rulock starting at QB this year. That's gonna be tough. Yeah, okay. The US Open is lighting them up. Uh, that was hilarious. <laughs> I mean in fairness, he's pretty bad. He's good sport about it, at least. Do you want us to yeah. talk about the Penguins now, too? The Penguins are a fun one because they kind of ha- they're already on that course of like they ha- they've been doing this. They want their core to to continue to succeed and continue to do well. And if you're in this deep, then why would you stop now? Like you need the yeah. whole set. Right? I guess you're the- always competitive if you have Sidney Crosby on your roster, and, and that's and just kind of and, and yeah. Latang yeah. and Jari. But yeah. that being said, but mostly Sidney Crosby. Ruda. I'm going to make this at least a fun scenario talking about them because I think we all agree. Like, they had to do that with what they're doing. No one at all is upset with them re signing uh, Malkin. It's great. And Latang, great move. But, you know, there's some term on that. In two years, like, if you're a Penguins fan, or like, are you really expecting to be that great? No, but I feel like Penguins fans are would rather just ride it out. Ride like, it out. Okay. From, from oh, I... We may have something big here, but we don't have any of the TSN people saying it yeah it's so. cool you can read it <laughs> interesting i mean the chat the chat is go ahead man you might as well say it no hiding anything just well it's... No, there's some noise around max patcheretti basically and it's possible that he's on the move it seems like to where potentially carolina oh wow okay well it's you so you guys were ripping the canes a little bit were we, we ripped the canes a little bit you're saying they were no, still boring said... And whatever. No, I mean, we just said the Brent Burns much more move exciting. was like... Yeah, they ripped him. They ripped him. Yeah. You guys were eh, on yeah. them, fine, at the least. The Brent Burns move is mid, as they say. It's yeah. like, a, it's a lateral move, but if maybe that, not, like, completely lateral. It's like, this is where they started, and, like, this thank is you. where they are right now. Thank you for your analogy. <laughs> but if that yeah. happens, and it's Patch ready, and he stays healthy, yeah. are you guys more excited now? Like, okay. He's good. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, they like, lost Star Trek. They got Pacioretty. It's not yeah, the like, sexiest move, but like the same. he scores goals. And he's a really so, good yeah. player. Like, he's a great he, player. He, Pacioretty's a very good player, and Carolina's already a very good team. It's just like, yeah, it doesn't change that much for me. For like if them. like it's if just they went like out they're and still good. good. If they went out and got Gaudreau, like but that's they, something that changes them for me. Yeah, but I don't, they don't know if that like this is. I don't know if Max Pacioretty is like. Uh, I don't know. See, this is the thing. It, it depends. If Goudreau is the Goudreau from this past season, then obviously he's a massive upgrade there. And Max Pacioretty has a, had a lot of injury problems, so that's I think yeah. probably the biggest concern for him. His but, pace last year, though, like tw- he's been 20, great yeah. since being in Vegas. In Forty games I mean, last year. I guess he's pretty much been great always, except yeah. for that one last year in Montreal where he just like really struggled. But other than that, he's always been a pretty good player. Yep. And like by every like metric that that you can measure players like on uh, advanced analytics or whatever the he's like good. he's great so i don't think like he would be that significantly worse than goudreau in terms of impact but it's just yeah like i think like you said it's just not a sexy like ad i don't know i'm not gonna like it's cool but yeah and this of course if you're just joining now we're talking about if patch ready 
you know, does get dealt to the Canes. That'd be a cool move, though. It'd be cool to see. Julia, you any thoughts on that at all? I think to, just to Luca's point, it's kind of just like Trocheck out him in. It's just not overly sexy. I, I don't see a huge change in that team as a result of it. What it really makes me think is... This is going to be a joke. No, it's not. What's Vegas up to? Oh God, yeah. what is Vegas Imagine up to? Imagine they just Vegas well, they but they, well, they but no, they, they have signed, they have to start dropping. They signed salary. Riley Smith today, so yeah. they, oh, they got yeah, they need like and they just need room to. Aren't they like oh, well? So I feel like that's not a good move. For, like they're still for them. They're still in the negative. Like Patrick felt like really they're big. Back. No, but that's oh that's no, with, that's with that's with him on the team. That is with oh. him on the team. So minus seven million from that. They get Nolan Patrick. Felt kind of like a core guy for Vegas. It, it really did. Yeah. Yeah. They're, like they really just had like a year like wasted, which sucks for them because with I all guess. like the, the cap trickery that they got going on and and you know they Karma. got they got super unlucky with wonder, injuries. And I wonder who if if, if Patrick ended up getting traded to Carolina, I wonder who would go back because like that's a good player. It's you not did. really a salary dump. I think they sent back not Seth Jarvis, right? Like, that's a little wild. That would be crazy. Yeah. That that would be, like... Do you think Neckish? Restricted free agent? They'd have to sign him, but, like... Natchez, by the way. Natchez? I (laughs) remember uh, Jesse made that. He always... Yeah, that was a tough one. So funny. Once you hear something said wrong once... I know. You always want to say it wrong. You're hooped, yeah. Um... They have so few players, eh? <laughs> so Darren Dreger has confirmed that Pacioretty and Coughlin to Carolina move necessary for Vegas to be cap compliant. But like, didn't... is this going to be a future considerations type of thing? There's two no, big guys. I can't imagine, do that. yeah, like, like you're not just giving Dumping up Pacioretty. That's really interesting. I have no People idea. People are screaming about Ethan that. Bear. Why? Oh, getting moved. Because it could be yes. the other. Could be him yeah. too. He's in. He's a restricted free agent like as well. Bear. Yeah, that'd yeah. be cool for him I too. Mean, go, go to pro- Vegas. It would probably be kind of disappointing for Vegas fans. I would assume. Like, like again, if you're giving up. But you also have to understand the situation you're in. If you're a Vegas fan, like you can't keep what you have right now. Like, sure, just, like the, legally, you just can't. Which yeah. is just. But then I'm starting to feel like they've been a little mismanaged because, like, the whole thing about getting Eichel was like having that whole core of guys that are all really good right now. And then like, if you're just going to get rid of patch and and um, you obviously already lost tuck and Dadanov and like, are, is it, are you really getting that much better with Eichel? And I don't know. It's a bit of a <laughs> hilarious comment. Someone said, I hope they checked. Shout out to flurries JPEG. I hope they checked the no move clause. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. So they did not retain any salary. The Vegas golden Knights. As expected. Wow. Vegas gets future considerations from Carolina. In wow, return. everyone thinks I'm such an idiot. And look at me. What? No, no. I was a guess. <laughs> oh, yeah. Carolina. That is... It's just surprising. It's, it's not. Like, like, so Vegas know... is just like, I right, please help. We need help, yeah. yeah. Please help me. God. Patch wow. ready for how future are, considerations? How much are you smiling? Can if we you're check on the it, phone there... and you just got patch ready and for future considerations? Yeah. We got another trade. It looks like Connor Brown may be heading to Washington. Oh, okay. well, that doesn't... Bob McKenzie, stay tuned. Guys, we're absolutely buzzing right that now. That is we're, not we're... aesthetically pleasing at all, no. but... <laughs> Less so than the other one. Wow. We got seven we minutes gotta... to closing time here. Uh, but the, the patch ready thing, like, legit. I mean, I don't want to spoil the Canes fun here because they're the one who did it and that's great and we can be excited for them uh, especially because if they're not giving up anything shouldn't other people have been in on that like what's going right. on like yeah what yes is there a connection How there maybe like I have no idea it was it's the biggest thing is like yeah who can take on seven, seven mil, million mm. but like not the Flyers but you think like <laughs> <laughs> but well no but <laughs> not Sorry. the Flyers catching another Sorry. string right now oh yeah Sabres could have but I mean just like when you look at all the teams well, that he's are trying from to Connecticut well, and they're pretty close to Carolina I'm pretty sure isn't it? no they used to have their team <laughs> I think is what you're no thinking. I know but like that that's kind of close. Not really. Geography? Yeah, it is. It's not really not that close. Really? No. Well, my geography is horrible. (laughs) Yeah. They're like not horribly far, but like. No, but I'm not saying it's like neighbors, but. No. I'm pretty sure also people from Hartford hate that they're they're compared to them still because they're like, no, you stole our team. Go away. Yeah, it's like the ex Nationals. Yeah. Right? Uh, Okay. Anyway. uh, So, because the one other thing I would say though is like, because if you're New Jersey 
literally anybody that's in for Johnny Gaudreau, why weren't you in for that? It's like flyers, flyers <laughs> which they can't, but it's like 10 yeah. hours away. I don't know my geography. No, no. What a stooge. Um, I'm an idiot chat. No, for real though. Like, like, so oh, wait, I just wanted somebody called you Julia LeBron, by the way. I nice. I love Pierre LeBron. That is very What nice. a king. That's, that's wild though. Like future considerations, future considerations. He, yeah, do, he we, does have like, again, he's got injury problems, but as we said, you know, he can st- if he stays healthy, that's How old huge. I don't know. <laughs> Hurricanes also signing Andre Cache. Aww. Yeah. That's, that's a, a good, good pickup. One good. year, 1.5. Okay, I think yeah, Terry, since you were... What? I think Terry mm. Koshin had said... Yeah, I don't understand those. Couldn't have got him back? Today, though. Why, why can't me. we get... Hatch Reddy is 33. The way his voice went, that was like no, genuine. Like, guys, no! I'm actually choked about that. Because yeah. Who... That's literally... Both it's like... Because the reason I thought we couldn't get him was because he's going to cost too much. Yeah. And, like, that's pretty much the same as what he costs. So, like, what is going on? So they, Why did we sign? they add Burns for pretty much nothing. Uh, they add, <laughs> yeah. I'm sad. They, real quick, they add Burns for for pretty much nothing. They add Patch Reddy for pretty much nothing. Uh, and on top of that, now they signed Cache for pretty much nothing. A really friendly deal. I think Hurricanes are... It's creeping up. 1B? Yeah. Stand back. Honestly, 15 minutes There's ago, There's a hurricane not coming through. But... I don't know. Okay. I get it. These guys are big names. The moves somewhat seem lateral, though. Like, the Pacioretty Trocheck one isn't one for one. I admit that, like, Pacioretty is a much more consistent and probably better goal scorer than Trocheck ever was with the Hurricanes and maybe ever will be. The Burns and D'Angelo one, like... Burns' age, for sure, is a factor in this. Offensively, might be more gifted, but it just seems like these are kind of lateral moves that the Hurricanes are making, and they still haven't signed that game-breaker that I think will take them to the next level. If they get a healthy but, patch ready, I don't know if I totally agree with that, but also I, you were still saying something. I only pointed to Luca to finish a hurricane line, so, Julia, the floor is yours. Mm, my brain's empty now. I don't know what I was going to say. Corwin, go ahead. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's just kind of rattling a bit like all those oh, moves yeah. that just came in i'm just rattled i like uh, that that upsets me it, it <laughs> makes me think worse of uh what my team has done and in case for people who don't know because they, if they've been only watching the stream and think you're a devil's fan he's uh he's a leafs fan and the devils, devils are <laughs> locked in devils out johnny gaudreau trust me bro devils outside a report yesterday that cash out, so they didn't extend the qualifying offer because yeah. they didn't want him to go to arbitration maybe have to pay him they, like, they get him like three million three million yeah, yeah exactly so then i think i saw terry koshin tweet that the door's not closed on cash yet why couldn't they sign him for what did you say 1.25 it's like 1. 5. 5. honestly like we could scrape that to no nah, not really we could scrape that together but still that, that's not a lot no they could have because they signed all these People, not plugs. How much That's better? not what I was going to say. <laughs> How much better? It's not very convincing when you go, not plugs. I wasn't going to say plugs. But not plugs. I love Adam Gaudet. Why do I love Adam Gaudet? Because him and his wife are hilarious. And also because he's into like crystals and saging things. So yeah. that's why we stand him. He's got good energy, but also like. But also, Damn. Angie Kasha. What do you And how think... could you split up Kasha and Camp? They're so cute. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Leafs fans much... being upset to clo- <laughs> to close this out. That wouldn't be the worst ending, right, guys? I don't know. I'm gonna throw my pen. How how much better do you guys think the Hurricanes are? <laughs> There's like similar. They but were I competitive just, last but, year. But, so yeah. what? We, we, are they gonna take the the Rangers spot in the conference finals then? <laughs> is I, mean, like, I, I, I the set playoffs? you up. I know. Yeah. But I well, set no. you up to make fun of the Rangers since you hate them. Oh. Like is Freddie Anderson gonna play in the playoffs? I don't know. That would, would help. There that? You go. But you know what? Hater that is a great core. point. Because he didn't really get to, to shine. And if he does, they would have been better. Well, and my he never plays is, in the playoffs. How dare you give the New Jersey Devils spot in the conference final to the New York Rangers? There's no way you actually think that's happening. Corwin's going to jail. Yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> like three times today, I put Corwin in jail. <laughs> Lock it in. Criminally dumb. And uh, yeah, I mean, if anybody wants that bet, I'll make the bet about when when the Devils sign Johnny Gaudreau. So that's it's conditional on that. Uh, the Devils are gonna finish higher than the Rangers. Guys, there's only a minute left in this stream. We just want to thank you for joining us. But before we leave, we will do one more thing because uh, we want you to stick all the way until the end. 
It's a uh, tradition, pardon me, on the podcast to have a loser point. It's the final point you want to make. It's uninterrupted. You can say whatever you'd like. Maybe you've already been banging the table about it. Maybe it's something you've had on your chest and haven't been able to say. Luca, we are going to start with you. Please keep it under 10 seconds. Or 15. Good draw to the devils. That guy stole his thing. Wow. Uh, on it. Okay. Trust him, bro. <laughs> yeah, just in case you wanted the sources on that last thing that he said. Why would David Prawn sign somewhere else if he's just going to get traded back to the Blues? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's very funny. That's very funny. Uh, that was the least convincing that's very funny I've ever heard in my life. No, I meant that. I was, tr- I was trying to think of something for my own. I promise. I actually was funny comment. Julia, very funny. <laughs> wow, that's so funny. <laughs> no, j- again. It was one of those ones where you write LOL because it is funny, but like it, I was thinking. You looked dead something. inside as no. you're doing yeah. it. Uh, I have nothing other than. Um, Does that come from a I'll Sabres miss you, fan? Andre Kasha. That's yeah. nice. No, I'm not going to miss him. Hey, Sabres, man. Still, still need a goalie. No, Eric Comrie. Eric Comrie. Eric Comrie. No. Say Eric Comrie, I love you. Say that. Say I won't be saying any. Eric Comrie, Z loves you. Eric Comrie, <laughs> beauty. Yeah, I'll watch you play. <laughs> wow, <laughs> what an endorsement. Patcheretti is a king.